I was just saying, oh, you know, for I do the same thing. I buy a two dollar ticket and it's yeah. like a fantasy you could have for four. Yeah, exactly. Days. It's yeah. it's entertainment. I'm going like, you know, you can go to the bar and drop ten bucks and have a beer and, and in ten minutes it's gone. Yeah, so I, I totally agree. To fantasize about what I would do. I think it's good be in a way because what it does is makes you prioritize things in your life. You're saying, so what would I do with that money? And then you start thinking about what is important to you. Yeah. You know, is it go which of your family members and which of your friends would be benefit, which of them wouldn't? <laughs> mm -hmm. What things I you know would endow? Two businesses I would buy if oh, I got yeah? one. Yeah, there's one, there's a an old theater that I would restore. I would buy and restore. And um, then the other one is, I don't even know if it's still a business, but I would buy the building anyway, and that would be an, another animal shelter. Mm. Really? And then I would buy my grandmother's house and kick out whatever family's there now. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go. You just gotta and, go. Uh, and, uh, and actually, like, have a couple of my friends who, who are in apartments right now. It's like, uh, you get there. So... I was thinking about um, how I'd like to buy my local newspapers the oh, yeah. so, and and just like, you guys just do great stories. Don't and worry about advertising anymore. And, and save them, yeah. And try to save them. I was thinking that might be a really good use of my money. I also wanted to open up like a, a science uh, center or an observatory in some of the poorest areas of my town mm -hmm. to really focus on getting those kids, like given the best technology possible and really make it like a magnet school people be like but but wait the brown people got all the yeah. you know, all the good funding wait a so, second here how come we don't get it on our good side of town to be like no you so this is what there. if you so this is what if you had uh, uh millions and millions and millions of dollars we win the lottery yeah yeah lee was saying that it's a good idea to you know that it's it's a fantasy you can have for a few days and i'm saying yeah. that it's a good way of Thinking about what's important to you in life. Yeah. Mm. Jane, I'm still eating those oranges <laughs> that we took from our did you, did you eat that avocado? I Mark did. He said it was really good. But I yeah. here's the last of the orange juice. <laughs> I squeezed all those oranges and I have I've been there's so much pulp in it that I have to eat it with a spoon. It's so <laughs> good. So I'm almost I wish, done with it. I oh. wish I could have had some. Uh, this was the oranges that fell off of the tree in the house that Jane and, and Adrian and I and Deborah rented in LA. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I there was just those there was an orange though. tree back there. Oranges, the oranges everywhere. Yeah. And I just went out there, picked them up and brought them home. And I squeezed them when I got home. They were so ripe. But this is the last of it. It's just all pulp. <laughs> but it's so good. Adrian was very generous to me this year. She actually gave me a seventy-five dollar uh, e-gift e-gift certificate. Oh, so, oh yeah. that is generous. What she are you going to do with that? Very generous. I used it already. Oh, I good for lunch you. today at uh, Original Joe's, and uh, I had lunch on my birthday, which was yesterday. Well, uh, do you well, happy a birthday. hot dog. Thank you. And I had a hot, uh, two hot dogs at uh, New York Fries. Oh, wow. So, yeah. There you go. So, I've got $11 left of it. So, <laughs> I can use it at uh, New York Fries and get another hot dog or something. That's very sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I, like was, that. I, I was very surprised that <laughs> that she did that. So, a That's heartfelt awesome. thank you to Adrian, and I do not know if she is going to be on tonight. She'll, she told me, I heard from her today. What did she say? Mm. Who's Peggy? Yes, Ron. Birthdays. Um... Jim. <laughs> Let me see. Where is Adrian? She just. I got a message from her somewhere saying she she was in. Oh, I'm going to a play tonight. Oh, okay. And so no trivia unless we get home in a decent time. I read that and I said a play tonight. I thought you're going to play tonight, but you're not coming to trivia. I didn't understand it. She's going to a play. Okay, okay. yeah. Oh yeah. Now sure. that I reread it, I see it. She, she will not play because she's at a play. 
She stopped playing because she's going to a play. Yeah. Like there's lots of plays uh, playing. Um, I don't know what play she would be at right now. Um, hopefully it's a drag drag one, fun drag one. No, it's not drag. That'd be fun. Um, I did get something in the mail about a play, but maybe that's I remember. I I forgot what what it was. So. Excellent. She would, she would be driving a very long ways in order to see any of the plays. The closest theater would be downtown. It might be where she oh. is. Yeah, and still that's a long ways from where she is. Oh, is she... Wait a minute. Mm. Her home isn't all that far a uh, uh, uh... It's in the north north part of Calgary, but is she is she not at, at is she not in her home at the moment? Not yet, no. It's way far north in the city she lives. I was there once. Oh, and I lost the car. I don't know. I'm trying to think where. I've been there once or twice, and it's not. It's a bit inconvenient to get. It's, it's get, to get, closer. Get, get, it's closer to where you live, Jim. But it's yeah, very yeah, far. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I, I, I was thinking if you're going downtown from there, uh, taking uh, public transit would be a pain. Yeah, but, but no, she's, not take, she's not taking public transit, but still, it's it's a yeah. long drive. Yeah. Her husband would be driving her, I'm assuming. Oh, why? Wait a what? Minute. Yeah, why? why? Would... <laughs> you know, girls can drive. It's legal. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're not, we're, 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 in, we're not in Sa Saudi, Alberta. <laughs> yeah. There's Kyle. Hey Kyle. <clears throat> hey, Skeptic Podcast. Oh hi Celia. Celia, did we have you down for a game tonight or next week? Yes. Tonight. Hi, Brandy. Brandy. Hello. Brandy. My frere is gonna be a little bit late. Hey Susan. Oh. Mm -hmm. So if, if Celia definitely is doing around tonight, then you can tell Wendy she doesn't have to throw around <clears throat> together. Oh, is she throwing a round together? Yeah, she forgot she had a round tonight, so she is like right now desperately trying to write out a trivia round. Where is she? Uh, she Left. she disconnected uh, so she can go spend time around. writing the trivia round. So she can contact she know about her and let her GPT? Know she, she has a reprieve. <laughs> Chat GPT. Let me try getting hold of her. Oh, uh, Jay, maybe maybe somebody could uh, uh, make up trivia about Ch Chat GPT for people to. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Okay, well, I will hopefully be back. I don't know. Okay, I hope so. I hope so. So hopefully around right. seven thirty or so. Bye. Okay. Take Bye. Care. Bye. 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 So down to sixteen again. Okay. So at weather today, huh, Susan? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and every oh. time i think all you of guys don't have a clue oh my god <laughs> yeah. we, we went had on snow a in our neck of the woods and that yeah. was a very good thing i was we... on a zoom call with my with uh my neighbors yeah. across the street and one of them goes it's hailing outside and we're like oh my god we all left our zoom yeah. left it open <laughs> we went running out and we're looking at all the uh filming it it was amazing it was we just don't have that kind of weather here. yeah and then so the sun getting the hail's all here yes. crazy so yes. i just left a message for wendy i don't know if she let me try it let me try texting her yeah let me try calling her yeah she's not seeing my post yeah so i was it was uh it was one, bit... one of my young students um 
you know, it had been raining and, oh, he, he has to go out to the bathroom. And anyway, so he ran across these raindrops and he ran back and he goes, it's snowing, it's snowing. I said, snow? Hey. <laughs> and I looked at it, I said, no, that's called hail. He had never seen it before. He's nine. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> it you, it was I, remember this, I, remember, I remember this tale my father told me about an, an incident in his childhood. Uh, uh, he grew up on a farm in Alberta, and uh, bef this this was be this was in the twenties and thirties before uh, uh, electricity got to, to the rural areas. And uh, so one time there, uh, so one time there was this hailstorm, and. Uh, uh, of course, his parents were worried, would have been horribly worried about the effect on the crops. But the kids were delighted because that meant there was ice so they could make ice cream. <laughs> uh. <laughs> exactly. And his parents, his, his, his parents went along, went along with this. I guess they figured, well, uh, well, Doing this, isn't, uh, doing this isn't gonna make the crop situation any worse <laughs> okay wendy's coming back right now that's how that's how i grew up i thought i thought ice cream was a winter thing because we always had milk we always had eggs but we didn't have the ice oh. and so in the rare times that it snowed or hailed enough that you could scoop up ice then we got to make ice cream so yeah. i thought it was a winter food yeah yeah, it was just really surreal. I mean, my garden was full bloom of flowers with ice right, in yeah. all the patches of it. It looks so strange. I put it up on Facebook, you guys. It is weird looking. It's just like, what the, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, yeah. everybody wears around snow. They're going to say, what a bunch of wimps. Yeah. And, and you're right, but it's just so unusual. But in it, what the weird thing was is everything's in full bloom. Yeah. Yeah, because then there's just even if we did it. get cold weather, uh, cold enough to be hail, it wouldn't be in April, you know. Yeah, for real. February. I, I saw so, your picture, but you didn't say what it was, and I was thinking, well, she was talking about getting three tons of rock. Maybe she <laughs> put all this white rock down or something. <laughs> I thought you had a spread of white alyssum. Yeah, I have a lot of. I alyssum. couldn't tell. I couldn't I tell what you were talking about. Let me see if I let me see what I put up because I have been on Zoom almost all day today. And I barely I mean I got off I, I started this at 602 because I had I just did a, a, a lecture to three people at the University of Illinois. They're very nice people. But um it wasn't a real lecture. I just had them ask me some questions. So I have not seen hardly anything all day. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, it does look like um rock, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. let, me, yeah. let me look at that. Oops, you just muted yourself. Yeah, I muted myself so I can look at my look at this and see what it looks like here. Yeah, that looks just like Alyssa or I have never seen it. Yeah. Something that something that turned on up uh, turned up on the news yeah, like, uh, news thing. Uh on my computer was something about uh, a streak in the sky over California, and it was this uh, uh, chunk of uh, this oh, Chinese, Chinese space debris. Space yeah, Chinese what? Space debris, really. It was uh, it was it was something that uh, was sometimes as part of their their space station, but it had been let loose uh, and. Uh, uh, <laughs> was finally was finally coming to ground or or at least uh coming through the air interesting <laughs> and that happened in what part of california uh let's see i think the needles item said people in los angeles who were partying late looked up and saw it <laughs> well i'm nowhere near that so but yeah we they must have been mistaken because as you may have read in my article uh, no one has ever seen a satellite so oh yes no one has ever seen a satellite so of course <laughs> yeah, but that's not true remember i objected that uh uh <laughs> one one day i was going to trader joe's and um in the one of the clerks they wore those hawaiian shirts 
was standing out on the corner looking up like this. And um, I said, what are you looking for? <laughs> and the, and it was the ISS. Yeah. And that, um, that's what they want you to think, Wendy. <laughs> that can't possibly be true. Yes. yes. I'm putting up some build them. I, I know they're there. Hey. <clears throat> There's uh, there there there's there's one I see pretty frequently. It's uh, it's known as the moon. <laughs> oh, that. that well, Rob <laughs> said besides the moon. Yeah, I said I'll give him the benefit of doubt and assume he didn't mean the moon. He meant an, uh, a a man built object. Yeah. I don't know if you didn't read my article, Bill, but there was actually a conversation I was privy to where I listened to the guy state with absolute fact and certainty that no one had ever seen a satellite because they're fake. Uh huh. Well, uh -huh. well, I well, let's just say I saw a pretty convincing fake. <laughs> Quite a few of them. I mean, we put an awful lot of money into the ones we were building. Oh yeah, according to the flat earthers, we just if you know rockets don't go straight up, which is what they would do if they're going into space. They always you notice they always go sideways. NASA and every other launch system just splashes them into the ocean. That's yeah. what they do. Not intent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and they're using the solar eclipse for uh, time to repair the dome. Is yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> yeah. is, is, has that what is that what you're saying? Yeah, somebody somebody published that. That somebody posted yeah. that. I, I just found that very amusing. Oh my gosh! Remember when five G was coming out, and they they said that actually COVID is just they they mm -hmm. want everybody to stay inside so nobody notices that they're actually putting out the. I remember that. Okay. Look at oh, that. Mike Wolf is coming. And this is all oh, punching yeah. down humor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I found your videos, Susan. That is impressive. I it's was, it's pretty. It's really I, pretty. It's pretty because it's just like, what the hell? I just yeah. put right now a close up of the. of. Um, no, it's really pretty. I love, you, I love your poppies, by the way. They are just volunteers. Aren't they wonderful? Oh, man. They're so pretty. They're like weeds. They're so I love many. great volunteers. Who's, who's Nina. waving? Oh, look yeah. at it. There's Michael the, and Kat. Is, yeah. How did you guys get here? All of a sudden, they're there. Poppies. Is that the same? Like, do all are varieties of coffee produce uh, opium? No. No. These are the, these are a uh, native California California poppy. Oh, it's the it's our state flower, actually. California poppies. It's a it's a completely different species. There's a lot of different poppies. Golden poppies. We could do a whole trivia category. You on could it. cherry poppy. You really cherry. could. And you know, I'm looking at the video right now. The poppies that you're looking at on this video uh -huh. are all closed up like this. Well, they would before the cold. Yeah, because the cold. But they're they're out like this a lot of yeah. Time. They open up for the sun and yeah. And it was so funny how that just went and it was here and then it was gone. Oh, I got to let my cat out. Yeah. So these poppies, uh, uh, so they, so, so there's no, there, so there's no opioids in them, but the, uh, but are, are, are the seeds something you could put on, uh, on a bun? That could they wouldn't bun. taste very good. Yeah. Okay. On a bun? <laughs> yeah. Like, no. you know, pop, a poppy seed bun kind of thing. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. That's a completely different. Oh, as, okay. Yeah. As, as I say, they would look very good. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a real waste of poppy seeds, honestly. Plus, they're really you know, expensive. I seeds. bought. I was gonna say, give them to me. I'll plant them in the garden. Okay. <laughs> I bought a package today because I'd like to get poppy them seeds. established here. Yeah. yeah. Really expensive. So, yeah. So they. Uh, so they would be sort of not. Would they even be the same genus? Is the poppies of uh, the mediterranean area probably the same genus yeah i, I, I honestly yeah. don't know could look that yeah. up. i don't know for yeah. sure yeah our, just our, they... our california poppy they're um yeah something californicus <laughs> yeah yeah but uh like like southern california the climate is rather similar to the area around the mediterranean so anything that would grow in the mediterranean area yeah, would probably yeah, grow yeah, in california we are part of the mediterranean climate and but the poppies are actually a a, a native plant we yeah. we do grow a lot of mediterranean plants you know like artichokes and things yeah. very successfully but poppies did, 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 does anybody grow olives uh oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the it, the um 
<laughs> this would be a fun Google search. Uh, the town of Corning, California, where I actually was there last week, uh, way up north, north of Sacramento, um, claims to be like the olive capital of California. They, it's quite an industry in that little town. They make olive oil there. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of actually the, um, the, uh, the missions that, you know, the, um, the Spanish missionaries that you know came up from mexico and established missions along california one of the things they did was often plant olive trees and make all of them you know at the mission sites they're a beautiful tree so some people just use them for landscaping they're very beautiful but they're really messy because they yeah. do drop the yeah. olives. well it sounds like well it sounds like they might as well pick those olives and uh, uh and and make and make the crush them for olive oil uh you know, I don't know. Lee, it sounds like you're familiar with olive trees. Have you ever tried to actually make olive oil or grow? No, and I, I, no well, but well, I, I, I don't. Really, I don't live in the right area. I. Uh, it oh, took me several I, years I, to I, kill I guess one I, that I had. <laughs> I, I guess so the, I, messy. I guess the thing is, uh, okay. I I we, I've been going through this old box of uh, of National Geographic's, and there was an article on on olives, uh, olive uh, and olive production and stuff. And so, <laughs> have you guys ever tasted an olive off the tree? How horrible it is! Yeah, that's it's, 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 they, they need to be pickled before you. How, can how's that different from any other olive? It's During the all 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 olives need to be uh, brined, brined, or or. Something. Or, or no, vinegar or oh, if I if I'm remembering that article correctly, <laughs> they take they, they take them off the tree and crush them for the oil fairly soon after picking. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, the oil is fine. But if you taste yeah. an olive, oh my god, it's so bitter and disgusting. Yeah. So the ones that they actually jar and you eat and they're delicious are been oh, pickled. Well, they've been brined, yeah. Brined been brined. And, and pickled. Big, big barrels of brine, yeah. Salt yeah, water. they're not. Yeah, they're not edible in any way. They're not edible off the tree. We tried it. Yeah, it's yeah. Just the that. birds birds will eat them, but otherwise, yeah, it's yeah. Gross. This <clears throat> well, th this part of California, Northern California, is called a Mediterranean climate. And in the mid nineteenth century, when the Garibaldi Wars were going on in Italy, there were real estate people that went to Italy and recruited Italian farmers to come to California because we had their climate we had very rocky in the sierra foothills and they established a lot of the um the wineries or, and like you said in the olive orchards almonds walnuts you know a lot of the stuff that uh, the cons a lot of the stuff that we grow around here kind of sort of came with these italian farmers uh the uh speaking of garibaldi right. the uh California State Marine Fish is a Garibaldi. Right, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The it's state the 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 Garibaldi. The state what? fish. The state, state bird, bird is the quail. Uh, what is quail, the, yeah. Where did what's the name Garibaldi come from? Because right next to Tillamook is Garibaldi, another city, and I know that was there, that was the a, guy who led the uh, fight for. Unifying Italy. Oh, okay. In the 1800s. So, so the California poppy and the opium poppy have are of a different genus. I'm not sure about whether they're in the same family. Uh, well, they are um, different gen genus, but uh, the California poppy is psychoactive. Uh, all parts of it, actually, the stem, flower, and seeds are all psychoactive. I think you'd have to eat a hell of a lot. A lot. Hell of a lot. How many are we talking? A lot. I mean, um, because I know of people have like made um I actually <laughs> well, it's a bit of a long story, but I had some poppies that were um anyway, deck destroyed lot just last summer, and I actually kind of made a little bit of a attempted to make a little tincture out of it because I heard it could be sedative for bed. So it's every once in a while I take little tinctures and different herb teas or whatever to go to sleep. And uh, 
anyway, it was a lot of work. <laughs> um, and it tasted horrible. It tasted so bad. I didn't actually end up keeping it. <laughs> worse, what did it taste worse than olives? Than raw olives? You know, I have, to, I have to admit, I've never eaten a raw olive, so I cannot um, compare. It was it was really 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 bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I just can't even imagine trying to consume enough to be psychedelic. I mean, it would just if <laughs> you know now. <laughs> Celia, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm the first person to tell you that, but but you, this, but do you know cannabis is actually legal in the state of California, and they sell these wonderful tinctures? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I use those occasionally <laughs> too. It's just, you know, honestly, I was trying to make lemonade. I was so upset that these, well, there's a little bit of a feud with a little neighbor who I believe it sure looked to me like she ripped the top poppies out, and then she claimed that a deer had done it but anyway whatever i was trying to save the puppies <laughs> i was trying to make some good out of it <laughs> and and what, the what does anybody have against puppies what, what, what are... tincture, well she's I, I have i have great neighbors and then i have this one wackadoodle <laughs> she's absolutely crazy so everyone you know, loves poppies i know i know it was absolutely crazy but anyway um cannabis tinctures by the way karen are a little bit pricey <laughs> there's a lot of herb teas that are that are less expensive but i have cbd I have oil food. is like crap but if you get some gummies they really help you sleep yeah Oops. yeah i tried that too but they're they're expensive they're like yeah well I don't know, let's see, when was the last time I got, uh, I got like a little package of 20 and they recommend you take two for sleep and it was like 50 bucks or something. Oh, seriously? Whoa. No, no, like half of shopping, one. Celia. I'm Celia, sure half, half, of, half of one, a quarter of one. Well, it depends on the dosage. Like, yeah, it depends on the like dosage, dollar. but I got 40, uh, 30 milligram gummies for under 40 bucks here. Well. Jeez. The wrong one. And that's Canadian bucks, eh? <laughs> so, <laughs> change, change of subject here. Lee, did you just feel a shake? Yeah, well, you talk of so I just posted some stuff about the poppies. No, I'm talking about the earthquake you just had. We just had an earthquake? Yeah, it's uh Senator mm -hmm. D. Belden. Was it good for you too? <laughs> it was, it was rock your world. I didn't. I don't feel anything, and I'm sitting in a chair with rollers on it. So I heard weird noises coming from my house. Uh, how far are you from from Belden? From where? Belden. Belden. Yeah, it's between you and Susanville. Good lord, I've never even heard of it. <laughs> well, that's where the epicenter <laughs> was. There was a four point eight. So oh, you, oh, you should geez, have been able. That's to, a joke. Nobody a feel. Yeah, Nobody you should have been able to eight. feel it a little bit, but you know. <laughs> well, it depends on how deep it is, but you know. I have yeah. I it's haven't spent the entire miles deep. No. Okay, I guess I'll join. The I guess it's room right. time. Fine. I guess we're going into groups. <laughs> oh, right. no, never mind. Thank you, Susan. Bye. Bye. Okay.
want an FYI, Caspian will be in your room. He's going to be doing yeah. a category tonight. Cool beans. Okay, so he'll be joining you soon. So the people are upset because nature is not cooperating with their hotel reservations? Well, they're blaming science because science has been... I don't know. First to arrive and first to come back. That's pretty good, Vincent. Well, that's, that's, it wasn't supposed to be that way. How do I get back to the room? Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. We didn't even do our uh, team name, and I was going to write it out. And then as soon as I pressed enter, bang, I was put back here. That was weird. So I don't have a room assigned to me, I don't think. You're in your room. I was, but I can't get back to it. No, because I've already closed it. Closed them. Oh, okay. I think there's something wrong with Zoom today. No, fine. It must be because you're a year older. <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't know, because I was going to put a team name, and then as soon as I pressed enter, bang, I got put back here. Maybe maybe where the button that said um, the rooms are closing, maybe it was the room, here comes Caspian, maybe it um, was right where the button was for your room. Right. And you're sounding like you're a Cylon. I sound funny? Yeah. It's funny. You. Hi. Yeah, it's like you're like, you sound like a Cylon. Well, Caspian is just us tonight. Yeah. They're just coming back from changing name. Really? My voice sounds funny. Yeah. So my sound like a robot that needs a throat lozenge. Yeah. Oh, my team, I am so Jordan. sorry. I don't know what happened. I booted myself out of the room. And oh, then I we were looking for you. We were worried. Likely about story, you. Vincent. Yeah. Likely story. Oh, I, well, <laughs> the only story I, well, it's probably because I'm getting old, but I don't even know what our team name is, I guess. Well, just we'll, wait, just wait until you you're right right out. You'll, You'll like find it. out. You'll like it. <laughs> I am so sorry. I don't know why I got booted, but. Uh, it's quite all right. We oh, managed. Well. And, oh, and we well, as a, well, as a Canadian, oh, I guess Canadian. you're supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> So, so are we going with the name that we had arrived at before uh, Celia made the <laughs> last second uh, alteration change idea? I, I, I went with the last thing we talked about. Yeah, I was thinking we were going with the last thing. You don't like I, it, Rob? I thought it was... I kind of like my alteration, but I'm biased. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll let Celia type it in, whatever you want, since you're, well, since you're doing uh, the category tonight. Yeah. Well, it's whatever. a team. Team agreement. I, I typed it into the into the document already, so it's, all it's, right, no. it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you typed it into the document. What document? What are you talking about? We we uh, we we, uh, we made right, keep all the questions. So. Caspian, did you end up having any of that hail? Who? Why, why is Susan a robot? Nope. Yeah, the Cylon. Yeah, see, I'm not the only one. Oh, no, that was very Cylon like. By your command. Yes, that's exactly what I said. I said the you secret saw comes out. She was a robot the whole time. Wow. Which what does that make you, Caspian? You can't I'm, pass I'm, any I'm, of those. <laughs> oh my god! You sound so funny. Wow. I liked all you people. Yeah. How about now? That's better. Better. Yeah, okay. it's better. I liked it better before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't wait to hear my recording. Okay, I was. I mean, if, so if you can make yourself sound that way, I'm sure I all, am people, a all people will love it. I some all right. I some all right. Cassie, that'll that'll add to the that conspiracy. Hail? No <laughs> hail. Oh, yes, oh. You watch next touch. week on on the Twitter UFO. That's what you'll get. She's actually an android. Yep. <laughs> and Michelle oh, Obama. Oh. They're all watching us. You know how they are. Yeah. All righty, Rudy, 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 right, right. So, mm -hmm. 
You guys ready? Yep. I have a Are scratchy ready? throat tonight for some reason. And I just been on, like I said, I've been on Zoom all day. Just Who's doing round it. five? Hmm? Who's doing bonus round? Caspian. Okay. And he's in room five. All right. So here we go. Bill, Faith, Romero, Jane, Janine, and Carl. Um, a hellebore by any other name. Uh -huh. That's what you get. We were too busy talking. <laughs> we were busy and you kicked us out too fast. I gave you a two minute warning. Yeah, but. Yeah, but we had to stop talking and that took more than two minutes. <laughs> we were talking about earthquakes, flowers, all the kinds of What's stuff. What's a hellebore? Hellebores. Hellebore is a pretty flower. Hmm. Oh boy. They're in season right now. It's it's an it's not a rose. Uh huh. A ro oh, I get a rose by any other name. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Jamie, Cat, Kyle, Lee, Peggy, Wendy. Hospitals are preparing for eclipse observers. They'll be a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> I think you should go into business, Jamie. Those yeah. are good. It's really good. Mm, okay, Ben, Jordan, Celia, Gail, Rob, Vincent. Where did Vincent go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, at least you were missed. Okay, James, Jim, Mike, uh -oh. Rob, and Ron. Uh, Robin? You're muted. Oh, you're on mute. Sorry. Okay. Boeing has an open door policy. Oh. 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 Too soon. Put it in the chat. Too soon. No, no, no. It's been a while. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, Alan's here. Alan will be going on team four. Wait a minute. That's us. Yep. Oh, good. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah, you'll be on the same team. Brandy's. What? Hmm? I'm yeah. just, I wrote somebody's name on here, so I was writing it so fast. I wrote Cinti. Who's Cinti. Cinti. Oh, <laughs> I wrote it. Who's Cinti? <laughs> oh, Cindy. Karen, Kevin, and Caspian. Okay. Um, MAGA upheld his lies, but now his truth plummets before our, our eyes. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, MAGA upheld his lies, but now his truth. This is referred to as uh, his social? truth uh, social stock has plummeted and now Trump's yeah. about that. Yeah. Very has good. anybody noticed that? Um, you know, uh, the Russian newspaper Pravda means truth. And, oh yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's no, been, that has that, been pointed. Oh, out. that's right. I that's been pointed. He's out. just oh, drawing yeah. from all the authoritarian regimes. I mean, that's just well. well so of course, is the uh, uh, of of course the Russians always said that uh, there is uh, no truth in, uh, in in the in it. There's no Pravda in Izvesti, and there's no Investi in the truth. There's no, or i.e., there's no oh. news in 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 truth, uh, uh, and there's no <laughs> truth in. Uh, <laughs> In the, in the, in the news. news. What? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> okay. Nichevo. Okay, so let's see here. We have today, April 4th. It's 4-4-24. 4 4 4 4 2 4 yep. Yeah, well, that's... And there was a 2-4. There are two 4s. 24. And... You know, the odds are... What are the odds? Crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> this is season four, uh, game 209, so it's not 204. So here's our team names for tonight. Ahibl, Ahibl, Hellebore. A Hellebore, <laughs> by any other name. Thank you, Bill. Versus hospitals are preparing for eclipse observers. There'll be a sight for sore eyes. Versus, <laughs> where did Vincent go? Versus, Boeing has an open door policy. Versus MAGA upheld his lies, but now his truth plummets before our eyes. Bum, bum, bum. 
who will be the winner tonight in game 209. Wow. We're getting close to season five. All right. Our leaders tonight are Carl, Jamie, Celia, Robin, and Caspian. Next week, I already have Celia. No, no, I don't have Celia. Celia was tonight. <laughs> I have Wendy. I have Rob doing bonus. So sometime tonight, I'm going to need three more volunteers to take on the responsibility of running the game. Yeah, man. Rob, can you put another? No, never mind. I can do it. Okay. So, Carl, you've already got the the uh, powers. The powers. Yes. Of... All right. Uh, I'm doing a repeat of a theme I've done before, but this time it will not be a mystery theme. I'll actually tell you what it is. Uh, action star, stars named for action. Uh, if you can't figure it out, you'll figure it out eventually. It's called action stars? Yes. Okay, number one. This actor starred in the films The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and The Adjustment Bureau. But you will bow down before him, both you and then one day your heirs. Number two. This alumnus of SCTV and SNL currently stars in the Hulu series Only Murders in the Building. Number three, in 1995, this actor was arrested in LA, California near Sunset Boulevard for receiving oral sex in a public place from a Hollywood prostitute named Divine Brown. It wasn't love, actually, that he pleaded no contest to, but lewd conduct instead. I hope it wasn't Keanu Reeves for cat's sake. <laughs> Number four, this actor starred in the TV series News Radio, the film Office Space and voiced a character on the show TV TV show King of the Hill. He was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series in 2019 for his work on the HBO series Barry. Number five. On November 30th, trivia round four, we learned that this person was the original host of the TV game show Concentration. You don't need 2020 vision to figure this one out. This actress twice married and divorced actor Richard Burton. Number seven. Although Lorne Michaels in 1997 banned this former SNL cast member from ever hosting SNL again, they have made a few brief cameo appearances on the SNL stage in the decade since. To this day, they are the only former Saturday Night Live cast member to be banned from the show. Number eight, this actress recently starred in the HBO anthology series, True Detective Night Country. An asteroid was named after her in 1998, probably because of a role she played in the film the previous year. Number nine, here's hoping Susan knows this one. This country singer songwriter who previously served in the US Air Force appeared as the murderer in an episode of Columbo where he played a country singer-songwriter who previously served in the U.S. Air Force. I know this one! I do know that one. And finally, number 10. For her performance in Alan Quatermain and the Lost City of Gold, she received her first Golden Raspberry Award nomination for Worst Actress. But oh. she was also nominated for an Oscar and won a Golden Globe for her performance in Casino. All right, uh, breakout rooms. Go forth and deliberate. I think I need to be added to my room. You sure do. Um, Thank you. And Alan needs to be also. Where's Alan? Room four. Good job. Okay. Yeah, he's in four. I guess I got to go to my room. <clears throat> I 
I, oh. I do. I think I do. Hi, team. Two, but... Janine's on her way. She just moved okay. away from her desk. Okay. Where you at? So do we have number, do we have number one? Well, I don't remember the. I I know. Oh, I'm trying to think who was in Priscilla. I know who was. Oh in, in oh two. oh, the Adventures of Priscilla, not Priscilla the movie. Yeah, no. Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Uh, that was um. It's been so long. Could it be somebody named King? We can come back. Oh, I yeah. Because number two is Martin Short. Yeah, I got that. That's the same answer I got. What did you get for number two? That's Martin Short. No, I mean number three, sorry. Hugh Grant. Which one's Hugh Grant? Hugh Grant. Because the names have action in them. Short, Grant. Oh, so three yeah. is Grant? Wait, I don't get what you, I don't get. You come action. up short for something. It's action. The word, the, they're, part of their name can it's be used verb. as action verbs. Like you've come up short paying your bill. I, Hugh okay. Grant, I grant you your wish. Their oh. names can be used as a verb. Action. So is number oh. three Hugh Grant? Yeah. And so yeah, it is, it is, it is. And number two is Martin Short? Number two is yeah. Martin Short. But number number four is Stephen Root. Yeah, I root for you. Root. I'm rooting for you to win. Oh, okay. Yeah. Number five is Alex Trebek. I don't think he was the, oh, concentration. Yeah. No, oh, no, no, the original no, host? Uh, Hugh Downs. Hugh Downs. Oh, Hugh yeah. Downs. Okay. Because I know he did that. Okay. Yeah. Um, question. Was Hugo Weaving in uh, a just Yes. 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 Wait, what? Was, uh, he was so number, number, number six is the list of Taylor. So a Taylor yes. would be the Taylor. action. Yeah, Taylor. Because you Taylor. tailor something to yourself. I was trying to remember her name. Lord oh, Michael. I have a guess for number seven. Who? Chevy Chase. Oh, Chase. Is yeah. Good. Yeah. Let's go with that. That makes one. sense. Oh, I know number eight. Okay. Jody Foster. That would make sense. And number nine. Let's Who's see. number nine, Susan? That is the man in black, Johnny Cash. Ah. It was an excellent, excellent Columbo. Okay. I know number 10. Okay. Well, maybe I don't. Um, I thought it was Sharon Stone. Yeah, Stone. That makes sense. Stone. You, you can, can stone, stone something to death. Okay. Yeah. So we just have to go back to number one. No, it was Hugo Weaving. Hugo Weaving? What? Yeah. Yeah, because you can what? weaving is an action. Hugo what? Weaving. Weaving. Draco oh Mouse's dad. We well, not Draco Mouse. That dad. was easy. He's Elron. He's Elron and he's Mr. Anderson. He's the bad guy in the Matrix movies. Okay, so we're I'm done. gonna need to go bring in my house penguins soon. Oh, yeah. Those are so cute. We're done, Carl. Bye. We're done. We remember. My neighbor across the street just sent me a text message and she's still got a spot of 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 uh, hail in her yard. Her house is on the opposite side of the street of me and it doesn't get as much sun in her yard as mine does. So it's still melting. You have hail? Yeah, we had, had hail. a severe weather event. It was like weird. How it's how intense weird. hail? Well, I put up a picture on my I put up a, a video on my Facebook page. It was it was intense. I mean, we just didn't have. Uh, it was. It was. I like how we're having all these action verbs. It was intense. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 all uh, hail! It was intense. It was intense. I you know, was wish really my chicken did something intense. Well, we had like. What he, happened to Bob? Where's Bob? I need Bob. He can't. He's, he had. Um, 
I think he had some well, health problems. He had problems, a health problem or and something. And he just couldn't stay around. Yeah. Here, I'll show you what it looked right. like. Because my chicken that I thought was bound, I don't think she has any eggs. She's she's still acting like a penguin, but I've had her since Saturday. She's trying to go on a trail run. Fun. Fun. Yeah. Well, I'll be, I'm pacing somebody that's doing their first time that's doing a hundred mile ultra race. Yeah. So they'll pick me. I will be waiting for them at 7 a.m. when they start their last loop. So they will be awake. How far will you, how far will you pace? I'm them? only doing 12 and a half miles because there's, it's a five loop uh, course and it's 12 and a half miles. But the person, when they come get me, they will be starting their last loop. So they'll have about 88 miles on their legs and they've, they've been up for over 24 hours. Yeah. I can't I think why, to why? It. why would somebody why do not? that to themselves? Why not? It's better than drugs. Yes. Well, Challenge it's better than, than, drugs. Don't it's run better than having a panic attack. It's better than like... 24 hours. Oh, but it's wonderful. It's beautiful. I think Trace, well, I want to do it. 24 hours would challenge me without I wanna do running. It. Like there's, we were, we were watching a video of, I guess in Norway, they have a underground track that people just walk and run for 24 hours. Why is Faith not wow. moving? Because you're not moving. I'm Everyone moving. else is moving. Yeah, Susan, I see Faith moving. moving. Oh, I'm moving. Everyone's moving. Everyone's Everybody saw moving. it. Now, now you're now moving, you're Susan. Moving. Now you're moving. So I you was weren't frozen. moving. Oh, that's interesting. You were the frozen one. Mm -hmm. let it go let it go it's because you're judging us for doing like things it's like it's hail no i didn't judge you i was just saying that's ridiculous yeah but it was a punishment it's so insane. what happened that was that was hail susan <laughs> that was hail you took a shower yeah, it was, quick. It was uh, hail <laughs> and it's freak freaky here but i know that's not a big deal where you guys are but it was freaky I, here you, it, it's it is still, a big deal here. It is sort of a big deal here because it doesn't happen that often. And usually if you get hail, there's a tornado or something mm. behind that. And it I think the neighbor's kids across the street are homeschooled. So when it hailed one day, they were outside playing in it. And I was just like, okay. Uh, I was thinking I would have gone out so too if I had the right shoes better on. Better education. Well, I mean, I don't know. They, they have it a thing was, about it like was, it Jesus' was, birthday at Christmas, and I have my lights and my heathen decorations out, and you know, you center you. So what, I know, and I have to. Ugh. Why did it fail so much? Do they do they know? Or just the weather? The oh, rain. Changed. We don't. We get hail like that. We never get hail like that. None, all the all my neighbors I've talked to said they can't remember having hail like that. Close to the week, Carl. We uh, just don't, especially not in April. And it just was strange. Hill happens. Have, Hill happens have, because it's too cold for, for rain. Is that what it is? It's, it's, there's something that's happening in the atmosphere where I think it's just gets higher too where it freezes. Fast. Yeah, it gets co too cold too fast. And so it comes down as ice. Why wouldn't it come down as snow? snow has to be cold all the way down it's mm -hmm. cold up above where maybe, the rain maybe. is yeah it has to be the wikipedia article on it susan yeah oh, it has to, yeah yes. I, I would imagine you know, that's all made up stuff if leonard was in here he'd tell us to look the shit up and stop like no, i'm just asking as an, a human yeah. being to another basically, basically it starts off as a raindrop and freezes freezes it it uh falls and gets to a warm spot and the outer la layer of it melts and it then gets blown back up to where it's cold again. And the outer layer melts and it gets more and uh, get more moisture and it freezes. More moisture added, which freezes, and then it drops and it goes up and down, up and down. And depending on how many times it goes up and down is how how large the hailstone is. That yeah. was brilliant. See how we, that was so interesting. Yeah. I completely understood but it. It didn't have a bunch of long names in it. That the, was great, though. Thank the cloud you. Cloud ice machine is malfunctioning. And that's, that's fascinating thinking about how it's just raindrops that are just keep the wind keeps or whatever keep must be wind keeps. It is wind, yes. Yeah, but... mm -hmm. The weather extremes. That now, that if it was written like that on Wikipedia, it'd probably be much more educational. <laughs> Probably well, except that you'd get the scientific editors saying, hey, that's not quite accurate. 
and they fix it so you couldn't understand it. So is snow it would mean it's Wikipedia that explains it like on five. That's Reddit. Explain like no, on five. No, no. There's a Wikipedia language is called there? the Simple English. It probably simple would make English. Sense. Yeah. yeah. There's a language that people write them that way. Everybody. Hello, everyone. Was uh, all right. Corey. I will. I will read a statement and then I will post the individual answers in. Watch Terrence stamp out hunger as you observe Martin Short Intel st stock while you see Hugh grant your greatest wish when you experience Stephen root out evil. When Hugh downs the punt at the one yard line whilst you spy Elizabeth Taylor a new suit after you perceive Chevy Chase people away before you behold Jody, Jody foster a healthy relationship until you uh, view Johnny Cash a check and you glimpse Sharon hey, Stone a blasphemer. We should have known better. That's we good. Can. Pull that one out of our butts, team. Yay. That's really good. There you go. Very Excellent. good. Hugh Grant was caught having sex with somebody? Yeah. Yes, while he was dating Elizabeth Hurley. Do you have a bone? Even rule. Oh, I should have remembered that one. When you you say, don't remember that controversy that was all over the radio? I thought, I thought that happened in Brazil for some, not Hollywood. <laughs> when you say Chevy Chase was the only former cast member to be banned from Saturday Night Live, where do they keep the official banned list? Because there are many cast members who have never been back on Saturday Night Live. Lauren Michaels keeps whatever list they have. Does he have a list or does he just not invite them back? I don't I'm know. sure. Oh, I think it's. I think it was known. I think it's. Oh, known. Like carries it around with him, like Nixon's enemies list. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> declares it. He rants and raves about it. I think it was a known thing, not like a declare a declare by the the Scientologist. As long as Nixon's enemy list was, well, how long? Well, Sinead O'Connor was banned, was? but she yeah, was but she was singer. never a cast member. No, she was a singer. Yeah, yeah there's there's been. Anywhere from ten to fifteen people that are semi-officially banned, but only I'm sure one it's on a wall cancer. in the studio somewhere. See, yeah, I, I kind of Stephen Root was the guy with the stapler. Yep. Yeah, the red stapler. I knew that, and I couldn't remember his name. It took it took me like ten minutes to remember that name. I couldn't yeah. remember his name, but I could remember the character that was in all those things. Now I do. Oh, you like, got it, Ben. Game we left? radio. I didn't get it. We didn't get it. Ben get it? Ben didn't get it. What? Are we gonna go to scores? Yeah, I was just looking at no. Hugh Grant and he was he was dating this amazing looking woman. Elizabeth Hurley, gorgeous, yeah. stunner. Divine Brown, not so much. Yeah, that's mind blowing. Yeah, not sure. Oh, it was something else. She had great <laughs> enthusiasm for sex, and that goes far. It really does. Yeah, well, her enthusiasm I'm, was uh, mon <laughs> it, it sounds it was, like he just got caught. I wonder how many times he got away with it. You know regardless, what I mean? regardless of the reason why, it's the enthusiasm that counts. Yeah, yeah it That's sounds what like I keep one trying was to putting say. out and one wasn't. <laughs> that was that's something else. You know, you think about it, Beyonce was was cheated on. So right? it, it ain't about appearance. It, yeah, it's what, what I when I was reading about Johnny Cash, as soon as I learned that he used to be in the Air Force, I go, oh, well, that's perfect. He's a country singer-songwriter who used to be in the Air Force that played a country singer-songwriter who used to be in the Air Force. Yeah, haven't you ever seen the shirt, Susan? No matter how handsome he is, right now he's annoying the fuck out of someone. It's good. And the other way, too. It said, no matter how pretty he is, she's still bitching at somebody. And and then said. back in my, my photography days, we'd always do a family picture, and then I'd always say, Okay, one with just mom and the kids and one for just dad and the kids. And then in the background, we were thinking, because he's going to cheat on you <laughs> and you're going to be... Because they're already divorced. We're going to need that picture. <laughs> Someday this will be valuable. I know I shouldn't be so cynical. Okay. She doesn't have to tear it off then. It, that's what I was thinking. It was saving her some money mm -hmm. in the future. Mega upheld his lies, but now his truth plummets before mm -hmm. our eyes. Nine kept score. Nine. Wow. Boeing has an open door policy. And a ten. Oh and nine. Ten. Where did Vincent go? Again. Six. Right here. 
Uh, hospitals preparing for eclipse observers will be a sight for sore eyes. Nine. Hey, look at all those zeros. <laughs> I was just looking at all those zeros. The cat. Oh, there must be a cat nearby. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to delete them and, and I hit the wrong key. A yeah, hell yeah, or by any other name. Nine. 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 What the hell, Cindy? Nine. So where did Vincent go is hoping for the next uh, person to join, right? Playing the odds. You never know. Sure. Well, yeah. Deborah's not here yet, so. Thank you, I am. I am. How, how do we do, Karen? Seven, eight. What do we do? You guys got us. Karen's team? Kevin's team, yeah. you got a nine. Randy's reporting for us, okay. Kevin. Very okay. good. Now we're going to go to Jamie, who's got a row of toilets. I, I wonder if, it's, are there ghosts in those toilets? <laughs> this is my category. <laughs> toilets? Toilet trivia. Oh, Cindy, I see what, I see, <laughs> what, I see, I see what you guys are talking about with all those. Let's see. A toilet, a, a toilet tree is where you get toilets. <laughs> you, put, you pick them off the toilet trees. Do they no, toilet they grow trees? Keep this up while he's in It stinks. It stinks. Okay, oh, 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 now I get. Jeez. Oh, now you I get everybody the... before someone gives away an answer. Yeah, I didn't know either. Yeah, let's let's plunge okay. into it already. Oh! <laughs> How come Jordan looks like an angel? She's floating. Oh, in the... Very good. That was a yeah, real Jordan's stinker. floating in the clouds over there. <laughs> Let's put mm -hmm. boys ahead. Okay, are we all set? <laughs> are we up before someone gives us an answer? Okay, hold on. Okay, <clears throat> I can't mute. Um, Susan, can you help mute people? Everybody, shut up. Okay, we just shut up. <laughs> right. Hold on a second, I'll get that. Poor Shaq left a message. In okay, the here we go. <clears throat> oh, oh, Everyone's oh, muted. Oh, oh. Boom. Jamie, you're muted. Okay. Okay, number one. American Standard is one of the most popular toilet brands in the world, sold in over 150 countries, including here in Thailand. These toilets are only manufactured in three, con three countries, South Korea, China, and what other country? Okay. Okay, number two. <clears throat> Using the toilet here in Thailand was a significant culture shock for us. Toilet paper is never disposed of in toilets since pipes, toilets, and septic systems are not designed to handle it. Instead, a manual water spray gun attached next to the toilet is used to clean yourself and very highly absorbent, thick and soft toilet paper is used only for drying, being thrown away in a nearby trash can. This water sprayer is commonly called the blank gun. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Number three. Oftentimes, simple things are opposite in Thailand as compared to the USA and Canada, such as driving on the left side of the road. So true or false? Single level, single lever water valves used for toilets and sinks are opposite to those in the West, with the handles direction being open in the USA, but actually closed here in Thailand. Do you guys see uh, Kevin's comment? Yeah. This is, I take it, this is a true or false. True or false. Next. Number four. Trump continuously claims that Americans have to flush the toilet how many times as compared to once? <laughs> Maybe for him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ew. I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> he says it over and over. Okay, number five. 
the average person in the USA uses a toilet blank times annually. Plus or minus 100 times. <laughs> Number six. By the way, do urinals count as using the toilet? Yeah, going to the bathroom. Yep. I was just going to ask that. Yep. Number six. In America, which is more popular? Installing toilet paper on its holder so that the flap rolls over the top or rolls around the back? Ooh, we're going to get into some fights, man. You thought you saw a division in our culture from the from uh, GOP yeah, and this Democrats. Is gonna be, this is... This is going to get us. This will be it. This is a killer. Well, it doesn't say which is the best way, which there is only one answer to. It's just about which <laughs> most most popular way. Okay, number seven. The German National Railway discourages theft of its high quality toilet paper by doing what? It's Germans, man. I can imagine. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very German thing. Only in Germany. Okay, next, number eight. Squat toilets are very popular in India, Pakistan, China, Iraq, and other Middle Eastern and Asian countries. Thank God they're not rare. They're very, very rare here in Thailand. We don't have them. Squatting versus sitting. Though it's proven to be healthier and more natural, not including time spent on a cell phone, on the average, it takes 122 seconds to pass a bowel motion in the seated position. What is the average time in the squatting position within plus or minus five seconds? <laughs> Man, you guys are all going to be talking about this category tomorrow with your family and your coworkers. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty shitty category. <laughs> it is. You've been holding that one back, huh? <laughs> okay, number nine. <laughs> number nine. Public toilets in Russia are policed by Edeli Babushkas, who are the grandmothers, who hand people a single sheet of toilet paper and keep the stalls clean. In Moscow's famous gum department store, how much must you pay the toilet babushka for her services? And it's in rubles, but converted to US dollar. The answer must be within plus or minus 10%. Here's Debra. She get, she's gonna love this category. Oh wait, what are you, at what point is the conversion rate like as the conversion rate as of this afternoon, as of right now? Yeah, as of today. Okay. Okay. And finally, number 10. In what musical note do most US toilets flush? Deborah is thrilled already. She's like, oh my gosh, we get to talk about toilets. I know squat about this topic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, very good. Oh, yes. God, you guys should write for a TV show or so, a comedian or something. Toilet humor, here we come. Okay. Uh, Deborah, let me can, you write, can you send people to the rooms? Rob, can you, do, I mean, not Rob. Um, Carl, can you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Let me get Deborah her. Go to the... Um, Deborah, let me give go you to your washroom questions first before you go to your room. Um, that's what I want to see. It's called toilet trivia for you, Deborah. Uh, you'll love this. And eight nine. Deborah's going to go to room, is it three? Three. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Eating all day. I think I got a cold. All right, you're in three. Did I put you in three? I sneezed right as I hit the button. Wow. Oh. Manufacturing. Hello, team. Hello, team. I'd, I'd go with that as an answer. Oh, there's Susan. We've had a uh, category in toilets. I wrote it once before. Oh, Great. Did. So you know all the answers? 
A it's couple not. of these are sim similar to what I had before. It doesn't mean I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about where where they're um, manufactured. Don't okay. you think it would be America? That's what that's I was yeah, thinking. That's what we were thinking. Or do you think that Jamie thinks that we're going to overthink it because we're a bunch of skeptics? Oh, of course, he left the room. I was going to say flush once for yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Okay. I mean, you say, okay, number two. Do we say America for number one? You might yeah. as well. It could be America. It could be Canada. It could be something very obscure. It could be Vietnam. It could be Thailand. It yeah. could be Taiwan. Or Vietnam, uh, it could be another any other Asian country where labor's cheap. But uh, yeah, but I oh, yeah. This, but I'm pretty sure they amazing. started out being manufactured in America. One hopes. Okay. So right. is, is, when you does anybody toilet, have an idea for number two? Because I'm guess... explain the toilet for you when you go to Thailand. You're like somebody meets you at the airport and says, "By the way, don't use paper." <laughs> Okay, here comes Carolyn. Um, I'm saying I'm thinking butt gun or bum gun or bum gun is gun. what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something that would rhyme. Yeah. Yeah. I like bum. Okay, bum gun. All the right. British were the British were in Thailand. They odd looking toilets. Yeah, I'm in the wrong room. I meant to assign you to a room, and I accidentally. Went there myself. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're out. Okay, this category is all in toilets. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, room five. There you go. Okay, thank you. Have fun. Agree. Bum. Yeah. Right. Did you say it was bum gum? Bum bum yeah. bum. Bum gun. the U M. Yeah. yeah. Like a bidet, I okay. had, uh, like a handheld bidet, maybe. But sounds a little more, you know, powerful. Maybe more enjoyable. Okay. Number three, true or false? I don't even understand what this means exactly. Well, when you flush, you push down, right? So in Thailand, yeah. you lift up. Push up. Or, and it also refers to sinks. And well, so it's it also the be... sinks. So normally your sink in the United States, right. you know, they're, they're like this. Towards and then when you. you turn them on, you move them towards you. So in, he's saying in Thailand, it goes the opposite way. I don't yeah. know. I, I guess. I don't know. Well, sounds like they put them on backwards. Or frontwards. But that's you know. normal for them, he's saying. Do we like right. Yeah, that sounds like, like that could be true. Yeah, I, it's true. I guess. It'd be true. a weird thing to make enough, up, right? Yeah, it would be. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. I mean, why would he even come up with that question if it wasn't? Yeah. You know, so unless it was like China, it's different or, and not Thailand. Okay, I now, know. Trump, I think he says 10 I never times. heard this. I thought it was oh, five. I thought it was three. I oh, thought it God. was three. Three? Okay. I thought it was more I, than three. I don't know why I thought it was three. I, I try to forget everything the man's ever said, so. <laughs> Does he always don't give go a consistent me. answer? Anybody, really, anybody have our memory? Mm -hmm. You got a flush? I don't know. I don't know what that quote refers to. Oh, good, Wendy. That means you're not paying attention to Trump. Yeah, it's I never good. heard this. Really? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, he's been going on about it for a couple of years now about how how, how oh. the sinks, I mean, uh, the showers yeah. don't have enough I, pressure and this yeah, toilet, yeah. you have to flush it so many times. Is it three? I swear, three? I, I, I really honestly believe it's 10 times. But oh, I'll, okay. I'll go if with you, I thought it was if you five, remember that, but I'm cool with that. It. It's Trump. It's got to be 10. Okay. Three could possibly be. No, uh, that, that that this is Trump. He would. Yeah, so it's ten is more like it. Okay, the average. He's only counts the smartest oh. fingers he has. In his hands. George got naughty. I'll be right Trump. back. Okay. The average person in the U.S. Okay, I'm going to so, say a thousand. Well, let's start with per day. I was thinking three. Yeah, right? I was no, no, three, no. Or three times use a toilet four. in a day. At three least like uh, three or four. Your yeah. age will make a big say, difference. You, you're obviously he not a coffee outside. drinker. <laughs> I'd say at least five times a day. Depends okay, on you. I can be talked up higher for sure. Yeah. I, five? So, so four is 1460. Oh, come on, you guys. Yeah. It's more what? like 10. Let's do 1500. Like, really? Seven? 
It's, I go in that little room a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. And it, you, but remember that there are people who are 17 who don't. That's true. Remember so, back to those halcyon well, days. Well, people go in the middle of the night oh. too. Don't they get out of bed and go pee? So maybe mm -hmm. 2,000, more than 2,000? Yeah, maybe more than 2,000. Well, if you're at work, you well, may not go as often because you are busy. Okay, if you're five, home, heck five yeah. times would be. 15 times a about day. About 2,000, right? Five times. You go with 2,200? 2,200. 2,200. We like oh 2,200. Okay, now. let's do that. Yeah. 2,201, Bob. <laughs> what did he say? What? 2,201, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> one. Okay, right. 2,201. I think we should do the one. I'm hoping I'm that now, now I'm relying on the Americans for yes, this. Yes, data skeptic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, cat. Over the top. It should be over the top. Yep. So you think six times a day? <laughs> no, we got that. Now, my dear. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I had, to, I had to go beat up on George. Two hundred and one. It should be over the top. Yep. I think that's the right. Patent is right. over the top. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping sure both Americans yeah. know that. For the toilet paper holder. Yeah. So over the, top. the problem is if you have a puppy, a kitten, or a kid, you do it the other way. And there's no, a lot don't. of people with puppies, kittens, and kids who do that. If you if you do it under, the puppies, the cut kittens, and the kids are gonna yeah. just shred it. No. If you put it oh, over yeah. the top, it's harder for them to get at. No, he goes, no it's not. That's they, the they take it all over the house. I have personal experience with this issue. She has personal experience with <laughs> this. My house has been teepeed you by her. her bathroom so and Lee, Lee's been there. Well, I don't know if you've been to the bottom one where they, she's got the little roller. It says toilet paper is actually on the counter. Yeah. <laughs> you Thank you, George. Yep. Yeah, I tried to I tried to change it back and nope, too early. You know what it is um, at my house? I absolutely will not pick. I put it on whichever way it goes. And Paula always comes to my house and changes it. I just put it on whatever. I don't even think about it because I don't think it's Oh yeah, because she used to she reset um your um microwave. Yeah, she doesn't like that stuff. But yeah, I go and I, she'll come <laughs> into the house and she'll flip it one way. And I don't know which way she flips it to, but I, I put it on whichever direction it goes I on. I think and, over the top is probably the answer because that's how the kind of iconic ads are done and how the ho hotels do it. It's kind of like how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, yeah, I think over the top is how they do it in hotels. Yeah, that's a good point. It is how they do it in hotels because they make the fancy little V points. Oh, that's right. They do. You can't do that if it's under, because under's wrong. <laughs> it's not. I tell you, you get yourself a kitten. Or a I puppy. had a kitten, and my mother had put the roll on under, oh and God. it was a. I don't know if you, she really can't see that, can you? No, it looks like a bunch of buildings. Well, anyway, what never mind. You? But I'll go with. There was a picture head. of when I left the bathroom door open. Oh, oh, I want to see that. Eight million pieces of toilet paper all over the carpeting, and uh, uh huh. So you have yeah. to keep your door closed, huh? Yeah, you just do not leave the guest bathroom door open. It's raining like a mofo right now. Is it? What? Here what does the German National Railway do to discourage theft? Shoots you. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe it little squares, so you can't one square at a time. Yeah, something like that, maybe. That, that is like, really ugly. Kind of, That's so German. It seems like a German sort of thing to do. Doesn't it? Just anal, stupid crap. Um, I, I was don't, thinking I like kinda... charge you for it so that you like had to put in money to get a couple of squares. Oh, or oh, oh, oh I that's this good. one. I, I like it. When I've been to Germany, yeah, they you charge you pay. for it. You have to pay to go into the toilets. I remember stopping. Require and... money. I don't have any. What? What? What coin are they? I'm. We're driving. That's right. I had to, yeah. We I, all held like, it. We were in the car dri driving. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a quarter to use the pay toilet. I remember that. But uh, so, how is our uh, bowel movement on squatting? 
If it's 122 seconds in the seated position, the average time in the squatting position would be like 65. Two thirds. I believe somebody ca calculated Two this. thirds. 60 seconds. I was saying 65. That'd be about half. Yeah. It's very yeah. quick, I think. I think, I think. half, really? I don't yeah. know. Of course, then how much time do you spend cleaning yourself off when you fall? <laughs> Not yet. I don't think oh, I can you squat don't fall that you, don't, you get down on the. I think it's supposed to be really quick, you guys. I don't know. So you think it is like 65 it's, it's seconds? It's supposed to be very expeditious. So under 15 seconds. Damn, Damn girl. What? What? That's <laughs> you get in there. Hey, you can't read your cell phone in that squat position very well. So you got to get in and get out. I, I am one of those people that I have never taken my phone into the bathroom with me. Oh, come on. Uh, why live life cat why when she has an ipad in there <laughs> no i don't it's, but it's like why i'm not going to be in there that long and i really don't miss it so what if you have like a really amazing insight in that moment you need to write it down I mean, it's like I, there's toilet there. paper in there and i can find file. a pen <laughs> okay, can we, okay focus kids it's how many seconds do we want to go with Look at that. Yeah, I guess oh, it's good. Oh, tonight. Yeah, baby. What? He's wearing my shirt. I'm rocking the Gorilla oh, Skeptics. Oh, tonight. yeah. Gorilla Skeptics. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, so much for doing Jamie, that. Jamie, um, just uh, blink uh, once if it's like member. 65 seconds is in the ballpark. How much? 65 <laughs> seconds. He blinked. Oh, come on. It's got to be fast. He blinked. <laughs> you go in. I'm taking it as a guess. Squat is I, like, I like 65. It's good. Can we go 65 with 65 seconds? <laughs> it's half the time or less. Can you imagine squatting for 65 seconds? No, my whole life is going in the other direction where I made that toilet as comfortable as I could. It's got a heated seat and, <laughs> and, and, and uh, sprayer and and um she's mean, probably got she's probably got a computer in front of her and she plays Wordle. Oh, I have multiple outlets <laughs> in the, for the chargers and everything. And they oh just... <laughs> I, okay. I can't I imagine I converting rubles to dollars. To, to be uncomfortable sounds like torture. It's only yeah. a minute and squat. And people who squat, I have a dear friend who's Japanese and she can squat for hours doing stuff like gardening. And oh, I just look at her knees and go, how do you do that? But, you know, she grew up doing that stuff. Okay, so now number nine, public toilets. Now, we've had this we've had this question before. The I, don't know if I, question. I don't know if I asked how much did you pay. I, I think I asked some question about um, that there are these elderly women. I can't remember how I worded it, but there are elderly women. A single, how, how big is a single piece of toilet paper? Not big. And not very absorbent, probably, knowing Russia. I guess. I'm thinking cents. $1. <laughs> and a penny. <laughs> I can't believe it would cost a dollar. I think it's going to be pennies, wouldn't it? I think 10 cents. I was thinking like 50 uh, rubles. But which is how much? We have, I we have to answer in dollars. It has to be oh. something that you could give somebody, like a coin of some sort. It's Too not like you get change. And I don't know what the, you know, conversion values are. I don't know either. <sighs> and that's why I'm like, are you seriously asking which day the conversion rate is for? Like, <laughs> you follow the cur the Russian currency okay. that closely. Look I think it's it, a nickel or 10 cents. Now reread the question. Do you see what it says? In Moscow's famous gum department store. Yeah. So I'm thinking two bucks. The line. So like a dime. I'm thinking two bucks. Yeah. I, I, I'm no. Be, that'd I'm be like the highest direction. paid person in Russia. This is Moscow. It's a though. posh department store. Yeah. There are Russian oligarchs and their wives that yeah. shop there. Okay, I'm, I'll I'm, put whatever you guys want. I don't I, know. Yeah, I, I like a dime. I think it's too much to go with a dollar or more. Yeah, but I'd say 10 cents. Yeah. Go with a team. Okay, we'll go 10 cents. And when it's two bucks, you'll all say, sorry, cat. Well, 
I mean, yeah, but I'll I'm, avoid saying that, Kat. <laughs> what a hundred, a couple of hundred people a day come into the bathroom. I mean, she'd be like one of the richest people. Yeah, she'd world. be wealthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So does that a living wage? Even I'll bet. It, 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 well, they don't have a living wage, really, probably. Um, so, you know, this is something grandmothers that don't work are doing. We're arguing we're about going with question the nine, Jamie. <laughs> okay, how you guys do? We have, we have nine. one more question, Jamie. I'm sorry. We're arguing. Okay. We're arguing. Yes, we're we're Let's, arguing we over question place, nine. A placekeeper for a dime for nine. What are we going to say for ten? The musical note most to us taught it's flush to. C. <laughs> I'm hearing C also. So I okay, I like C. Flush. I, <laughs> I, I just or said C because it was funny. Okay, so what are we putting C. for nine, you guys? I, I I said I would go with your ten cents, but especially since it's converted to U.S. dollars, not U.S. money, I think it's more. Wendy, what do you think? I. No, I mean, I think it's, I've heard of worse jobs. That one's pretty bad. Um, this is the high-end women, you know, but again, you got to remember if you got about 100 people coming through your room. Well, like bathroom oh, attendants here will typically. I'm thinking one piece of toilet paper, the, the, and that's one of their fancier department stores. The people are going to fork over. The money, like whatever it takes, it'd be like sh people who shop in Beverly Hills mm -hmm. on Rodeo. I, I bet they carry mm -hmm. their own tissue in their pocket, in their um, purses. Well, right. and it's not just for the piece of paper. It's for her services, for keeping the place clean. I wonder if Hugh Grant would. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, bathroom attendants typically get tipped, you know, a buck or two. Yeah, here. good point. Yep. Okay, do you want to go with a dollar? Okay. I think it's I high. Like a dollar. I think that's kind of splitting between everybody. What do you think? Well, Lee definitely doesn't want to go that high. I Lee's Lee's doesn't want to go that high. Wendy's I'm just what? I'm 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 open to a dollar because it's a nice round figure. I, okay. I'm thinking it's coin. I bet it would be like fifty ruples, but I don't know what that converts to. Like a penny oh that's right is is kyle what, what do you think what, what ruble i call? like a dollar okay he wants a dollar peggy hill is gone <laughs> she, she left oh, us. what do you think <laughs> oh, susan can you you want to start the timer yeah can you do that are you able if she went where she might have went maybe we should increase our guests for the times per day <laughs> Hey, we can we can revisit anything. We've got about two minutes now. Right. At two least minutes. two minutes. Okay. Yeah. There Thank we go. You. So somebody could go poo in this time, or we could finalize our answers. I don't have a square <laughs> toilet paper handy, so <laughs> <laughs> or a coin. So, should we go fifty cents? A buck? You all think my two bucks is too high? Which? For a posh store, I would not say it's too high. I agree with that point. What are we saying? 50 cents? One dollar. 50 cents. Okay. What was, what, how did we answer this? Um, what, what is the average time in the squatting position? 65 oh. seconds. Okay. And we're going with 50 cents for the, for the babushka fee? Yeah. Technically, we don't have time to check the squad anymore. We just passed that. <laughs> okay, so what are we saying for the money? <laughs> 50, cents. 50 cents. 50 cents? Did anyone want to revisit the number of times per year? We good with that? What What is that? 22,000? 2,200. 2,200. I can't read my writing. 2,200. I'm in the dark <laughs> here. <laughs> And and Trump is ten and true for three and bum whatever bum whatever the thing was, and U.S. Oh okay, God. we have answers. God, finally, it, Jamie, it, that was the longest. It's either <laughs> USA or Canada. I think number one. That's good. <laughs> well, Lots this is a category we'll be around for a while. <laughs> you remember. 
<laughs> I'm going to go click on the light. I'll be right back. So we can explore. Okay. Okay. Six seconds. <laughs> All right. Good. Good Ooh. job. Good job, in Jamie. Answer, in answer okay. to your question, Susan wanted fun. you to wait until um, now. After after the category, and we do our score. Okay, all set. Yeah. yeah. Okay, number one. Number one, American Standard, which we have here. Um, anybody has American Standard here? No American Standard toilets are made in America anymore. Doesn't that uh -huh. suck? So the, the the country where it's mostly made is Mexico. Ooh, yeah. but uh -huh. that's America. I, well, <laughs> North America. <laughs> North America. Oh, yeah. South America. All right. We had that as our answer first. You're right, Vincent. We always thought it. We had it and changed it. Yeah, Did you Mexico. guys really come up with Mexico? I came up with Mexico. Yeah, wow. I did. Yeah, Mexico. our team got it right. All right, Deborah, we should have went with your guess. Yeah, I, I didn't insist. It was just a thought. So, yeah. Mexico. Uh, number two. Those are toilets. Yeah. Just <laughs> Spend some time number, around them, yeah. So number two, the, the spray gun that we use here, they call the bum gun. Hey, <laughs> come on, hey, we got it right. Hey, come on, yeah. Good guess, guys. <laughs> the funny answer wins. Okay, number three, um, the valves, the, the position of the valves, it's true. The valves here are opposite any place else. And it sucks because uh, we never, because we don't know when the valves are open or close. So every time we open the valves, it's backwards. So when the valve is like in America, it's closed where the valve handle is perpendicular to the water flow. It's closed in America, but it's open in Thailand. And the opposite, right. if yeah. the handle is in the line of flow of water, it's closed here. It's open in America. It's backwards. So righty tighty, lefty loosey doesn't work in Thailand. It's backwards. <laughs> so we never know when the valve is open or closed. It's, it's extremely confusing here. Well, are you saying because well, okay, you were talking about direction, not Position is the direction of the handles. The direction is backwards. It's the opposite. So if okay. a valve is positioned, so it's open here, it would be closed in America and vice versa. I thought you so would turn it the same direction or? So it's all backwards here. here. Like usually yes, it's like handle. right. Well, but, but don't you adjust to that now? And I mean, if, if it's always that way, you would know it, right? It would take years, Deborah. <laughs> 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 yeah, Talking like a person who doesn't use the metric system. If you it's can deep. learn to drive on the other side of the road, I'm sure you can handle it. Well, there's more consequences <laughs> for doing that wrong, Celia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. I actually, I like and more on clues on how to do it correctly. And more clues. Actually, so yeah. I, I'm so I'm so used to driving on the left here. So when I watch TV and I see people driving on the oh, right-hand side, I thought, oh my God, they're going to have an accident. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Next. The, um, number four, what Trump, let's see, number four, Trump claims that Americans flush the toilet 10 to 15 times as compared to once. Told you. So is 10 good enough or do you need 10 to 15? No, anything between 10 to 15 is fine. Okay. okay. You were right, Lee. Thanks, Lee. Lee knows his Trump. He probably <laughs> it's ridiculous. I tell you, he rewinds it if he doesn't. He just it's a giant loop of co content with Trump talking. <laughs> I think he goes to all the rallies. Yeah, and that's so, kind no of like that's that's a sign of somebody with a head injury. People with head injuries like repeat themselves and repeat themselves and repeat themselves and repeat themselves. That's what Trump's you doing. Know, just I, saying. I I tell people all the time, Trump's got dementia i mean anyone who goes on about biden i'm like you have got to be kidding who's the healthier man i mean yeah he, well, is, he is so, so much much human so yeah well that yeah. too but i mean yeah. you know he's, he's he's morbidly obese he is, he's clearly demented of course he's totally mentally ill and i think he has parkinson's yeah. well his father okay. had alzheimer's and it was a and, he's, pop and he's popular okay. At this age, it's popular. All right. Okay, yeah. number number five, probably the most controversial question. According to MrRuder.com, the number of times people use the bathroom on the average per year is twenty five hundred times. Wow. So that was plus or minus how much was it again? So it's uh, not 20, enough. Hundred. Yeah. We got close. <laughs> we got close. So 20, yeah, twenty four hundred to twenty six hundred times. Number six. 
75% of Americans install their toilet paper over the top instead of from behind. <laughs> like, Otherwise known so as the correct way. way. And the, the, and the correct, rest of them no, are the wrong. The correct way is yeah. never it's putting it on the holder. It's just a waste of time. We don't, we yeah. don't do it. We have a, so we have a, a, a wicker basket and you put the rolls of toilet paper in the wicker basket. But then, I used to do that and, but then mm -hmm. everybody has to touch it. Use it today. What, what the heck? No. That's how we do it. Now, I used to do that until my cat discovered it and started pulling them out and tearing hey, them up on the rug. Right. They're, they're, they're touching it after. They're, they're, they're touching it before it's been used. And the poop particles are just getting flushed up in the air anyway on everything. Oh, always it? close the lid when you flush. Yeah. And even that yeah. doesn't solve fully the problem. It will be over the top. Yeah. Otherwise, if it's underneath, then it's rubbing against the wall yeah. or whatever it's hanging yeah. on. That's what people say. For yeah. Seven, for yeah. Seven, this conversation is getting over the top. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just <laughs> underwhelmed by it. Number seven. Number seven, how does the German National Railway discourage people from stealing their toilet paper? Each sheet of um, the National Railway toilet paper is embossed with their logo. What? <laughs> so that would make people. it more, that keep, and it makes it a collective item. More, yeah. Yeah. What can That would make people. That would make it a collector's item. Exactly. Would make a collector's item. exactly. Would make a collector's you can't use it. Oh, yeah. the the people get shamed. Steal it. Yeah. yeah, in Germany, if you steal it, if you go to someone's house and they have it, I guess they're ashamed of stealing it. So each sheet is embossed. Germans like are bigger rule followers. That's how they do it. Uh, True. Okay. Number eight. Um, how much time does it take to take a poop in the squatting position on the average within plus minus five seconds? The answer is 51 seconds. Oh, All right. right. Oh, we said 45. Oh, so we, we said gone in 60 50. seconds. <laughs> no, it would take me that long just to get up. I was going to say, I yeah, I would still be there. You know? yeah, <laughs> well, you'd be you amazed. raised that it, way, you guys. No, no, it's it really is so much easier on your body, and it's just like letting it out. Uh, but, not oh easy my on gosh, my knees. Two not of my us experience when camping. Not if you're disabled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, get, you get used it to it, you guys. Potty, potty. Yep. We got two as long as there's like handles to pull yourself up again, or you got I your hiking poles, I guess. Firm. There were no handles. Yeah. No, I See, know. A big, a big problem in Thailand is Chinese tourists. Chinese, when they go into the typical bathrooms here, they stand on top of the toilet seat backwards. So they squat oh on top of the toilet seat. Yeah. And they slip. Oh. And you always, once in a while, you'll hear big bang, and it's a Chinese tourist slipping off the toilet seat as he's standing. <laughs> Yep. Oh, this where I used to work, not where I work now, but where I used to work, the employee handbook actually had a thing that said, do not stand on the toilets. Yeah. And I was so like, I asked the HR person, I said, What? Why do you have to tell people not to stand on the toilets? Why are they doing that? And I actually mm -hmm. could, I, I would find footprints occasionally on the toilet seats too. But That's what they in do India, here. They, in India, it was on the Who floor. Are you working with? And you had, didn't have paper, you <laughs> had water. And after you used the toilet and used the water to flush, hands, yeah. just by flushing it with the water, you also poured the water on the floor around it. And when the family came to visit us in the United States, the bathroom floor was always wet. And so mm -hmm. I figured out why. <laughs> <laughs> so, did anyone get the uh, 50, what was it, 52 seconds? 51. 51. So it's 46. Did anyone get it? Yeah, yeah. We, we got 50. Oh, we got 50. Ah, oh, sorry. We guessed okay. 50. Okay. Uh, so, uh, number nine. The, We're way over. Yep. Yeah. Number nine, the toilets in the uh, gum department store. Remember, Moscow is an extremely expensive city, and gum is the most luxurious department store in all, all of Russia. The answer oh. is 50 cents. Oh. We got it. Yay. I think hey, we got that. Hey, that woman too. is making some money. So, 45 to 55 cents to use the toilet in the gum department store. And number 10, in what musical note do most US toilets flush? The answer is E flat. Oh. This is like said, or, E or, Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go listen to my toilet. Are you accepting uh, variations? I'm gonna live this one down. Yeah, E flat. That's E flat? Wow. Well, I know that in some places I've worked, the guys stand on the toilet seat because they put reading material 
in the ceiling. What? Really? Why? They take a newspaper or a magazine or a Playboy magazine and they hide it in the drop. They hide it in the above in the drop ceiling. So they stink or they put their cigarettes up there when they want to smoke in the bathroom. They hide things yeah. on the drop ceiling. You know what I mean? Kevin, wow. you need to stand. hang out yeah. with different people. No, I'm just saying yeah. they stand on the they stand on the toilet seat to get oh, access to, to reach the storage something. area. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they store they hide things up there. Can't they put the lid down first? Gee whiz. Yeah, yeah. That's what they stand on the seat, whether it's closed or open, it doesn't they're just going up there to grab their stash, you know? Sometimes put vaseline on marijuana. the seat first. They could be selling marijuana, <laughs> you know. I have learned too much about you people today, Miss no, no. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Did you see the gangster movie where they hold they hid guns there? Well, yeah. that makes sense, I guess. All right. All right, let's go over to scores so we can be done with this. Um, <laughs> let's keep in mind though, uh, don't leave if you were getting ready to leave. Try not to leave right away because uh, we're gonna do a a, a song, and. Uh, um, Vincent has something to, he wants to show us really quick. Excellent, Vincent. Excellent. Okay. So I, where did Vincent go? I gave <laughs> Vincent. That's now it makes sense. Where did he go? We just had a round of toilets. Okay. So, oh. I just gave it just dawned on me right now. Okay. Oh my God. Really I had just to gave go. you Deborah no. because you I nice really, yes. <laughs> All right. Gave you Deborah. So what what is your score? Where did Vincent go? Three. Oh no! Holy, really? That's Holy you did a number one kid. and a number two. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Our hospitals, total went down the toilet. Yeah, hospitals yeah. preparing yes. for eclipses. <laughs> they just joking around there. Okay, eclipse observers. There'll be a sight for sore eyes. We got five. Okay. We were so close on a couple, but five. Yeah. You don't know your toilet trivia. Now you do. Now you do. Maga upheld his lies, but now his truth plummets before her eyes. And I gave you, who did I give you? Cassian. And we, uh, Carolyn. Carolyn, that's right. We got six. I had, six. I hadn't written it down. Okay, six. And uh, Hellebore, by any other name, would smell the same. Bit of a crapshoot. We got six. You've been waiting all day. You've been waiting for the uh, the whole round to be able to say that. <laughs> Boeing has an open door policy. <laughs> we only oh, got five. <laughs> Look at that. We got the last oh, four. Woohoo! And then, boy, oh. that is really good. Okay. So Vincent wants to share something. We got to sing, and then we take a picture. So then, so in that order. So don't leave so we can take a picture. Vincent, what do you want to share with us? Okay. Uh, just a second. There. Um, I gotta share sound and optimize for a video clip and share. Everybody can see that, I hope. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. There we go. There's something know. at the very top. See of this. It's very good. No, it's fine. At first, I was Thanks. afraid. I felt so adrift when I heard it was your birthday and I had no gift. Then genius struck. I grabbed a pen. It didn't take me long to make a check up to my lyricist to write this heartfelt song. A cake is fine. And ice cream's great. But your birthday celebration calls for Marty on a plate. What's gonna put your name in lights? So big it fills up the marquee. But I'm afraid it's in my contract that top billing goes to me. <laughs> Looks great, Vincent. <laughs> Come on now. Oh! Ow! Whoa! You made a wish now, and may your wishing make it so. I can't give up birthday spankings, and I don't mean to be a Grinch, but I'd be canceled in a heartbeat for a pinch you grow an inch. So Cheers to you, Vincent. your birthday's here, Vincent. now just get set, cause I would bet you're in for a totally decent year, I must say, I'll send all my showbiz love to you, the one I'm most proud of, is that a cheer? Can't be more clear, <laughs> your birthday's here! <laughs> Happy birthday, Vincent.
Wait till the very <laughs> end. That is very clever. <clears throat> oh, oh, one more glass of champagne on Vincent's tab. <laughs> <laughs> very clever. Boy, somebody <laughs> nice. Made, was right? You know, these cool. can, can you imagine how much money these, these actors make? On this is really great. Okay, so we need to do a song because it's Vincent's birthday was yesterday, and I know he'd really rather have our song, right? Oh, <laughs> sure, right. Of course, that's a top big bill to top. Yeah, you know. So remember the rules because we have a lag in Zoom. We're never going to match up. So let's just go with it. In the Whatever. key of E flat too. E flat. <laughs> Make sure you sing in the whole. Somebody flush the toilet, toilet and get us all started on the right note. <laughs> you got your toilet paper handy. <laughs> Kleenex, you guys don't freak out. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? And let's see if it has any embossing on it. Yep. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> um, did, yes, did we? Did we miss? Peggy's birthday. Peggy yeah. intentionally ditched us so she didn't have to get her happy birthday. I home. didn't miss it. I, I, I had think it. We, I think we we need when to do Peggy's a makeup. Birthday. Oh, we dear. need to do a makeup. When was Peggy's birthday? It was, it was last, last Saturday. Saturday. Last week. Oh, the thirtieth. Oh, gee. Well, let's just have a Vincent and Peggy birthday. Yes, sure. let's. I yeah. didn't get Martin Short to sing to me though. Oh, well, uh, I have to take this. Okay, are you guys got all your... Ready? Martin Short was here last week for you, Peggy. Where the hell were you? Yeah, yeah. I've got my, I've got my, uh, Nate's kind of drunk. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, I got one of those. Happy birthday to you. 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 George is barking at you guys. Invite us if he could. Thank you. That okay. was beautiful. I loved it. Thank you. That was right, very good. Awesome. Especially awesome. gorgeous rendering. Get a photo. Yes. Everybody get your best. Get your best <laughs> there together. <laughs> Smile. Okay. Lee, where's your llama? Oh, well. Oh, shoot. Uh, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Ron has his cat. And Kevin's got a glow. Hurry it up right. while I got her going. Carl has okay, a cat. Ready? That's what? um. That's the toilet Kevin's... out of toilet paper merit badge. <laughs> okay, ready? Caspian, get back on the screen. One, two, three. Okay. okay. Good job, Kevin. Gotta go. Okay. All right. Gotta go. Just five okay. minutes, y'all. Go. Ready. Good night. You gotta go. So Good night. I almost fell off. See you next week. Or no, two off. weeks from now. Okay, two weeks from now. Lovely seeing yeah. you. The card mm -hmm. is from mm -hmm. uh, Adrian, by the way. Oh, was it fun was category? It? That's yeah, awesome. It was oh. Almost as good as Karen's scat category. Scatagory. You guys like poop, huh? It was funny. Yeah. You only done it twice, two times, so two. Get it? Two. Two I for like it was that. a two for scat. scat. Oh, boy. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, boy. Hurry up. Video still rolling. I was hoping that Adrian was going to be on when I did the song, but oh well. Well, I thought you were I will let her know. Um, we we recorded three segments for uh, the Skeptic Zone earlier today, and she's fighting a cold, so she's not feeling awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, she was dealing with a headache and a sore throat and. Yeah. So she said she would try, and I'm like, "Hun, if you can nap, just nap." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally understand. She's supposed to be coming up to my neck of the woods on the weekend um, for a funeral. So. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. If yeah. you're able to make it down to Calgary on the 14th, we're actually um, doing like a lot <laughs> of uh, brunch. Oh, nice. Kilkenny, yeah. That would be nice if you could make it down for that. Are you going to the conference in May? Yes. 
Awesome. So for I sure, bought, I'll see you I, then. I bought the full ticket. Oh, <laughs> I guess you can't make it down to Edmond or to Calgary then. <laughs> it's a long drive. I don't drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I have to bribe my sister to take me to the conference. So. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm Are actually... you opposed to driving cat or do you want to say more about that? Yes, I'm diametrically opposed. No, uh, it's because of uh, one of my, one of my <laughs> fabulous rare medical conditions. So, oh, okay. yeah. yeah, got it. Thank you. I basically I don't um, produce adrenaline. So driving for me, it would be like I'm driving drunk. Understood. And what do you get when you cross a hippo, an elephant and a rhino? Elephino. <laughs> Elef you got it, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> the team name reminded me of that joke. The yeah. hellebore. Elephino. Elephino. Yeah. That's an old joke from uh, the unknown comic from the from the. Uh, Oh Dong man, show. haven't heard that name in forever. Yeah, he was my when I was a kid. I used to go as him at Halloween. Mm -hmm. It was such an easy costume; just wear a leisure suit and a paper bag. Yep. <laughs> just make sure you get them in the right order. Yeah. <laughs> leisure Don't suit. Put the leisure suit on your head. Right. You wear the leisure suit. You cover your head with a paper bag with three holes for your eyes right. and your mouth. Does anybody know that game, Leisure Suit Larry and the Land of the Lounge Lizards? Yeah, I actually had that on my computer. Oh, yep. yeah. I had all their games. They're great. Yeah, I can't play them on this computer, but oh well. You, you can emulate those. You can find them online and play them. All the yeah. Sierra games. Oh, yeah. yeah. Activision, of course, doesn't like that, but oh well. Meet my penguin. Hello, penguin. Wow. Oh, Looks like a vulture. <laughs> I didn't think of that. She walks like a penguin. I thought she I thought she had she was egg bound. But she's apparently not egg bound. Oh good. But I don't know what she is. Except she's become a house chicken. It's still walking like a penguin. She doesn't like being held. I'm going to put her in her house. Because <laughs> I don't like stirring her up so much. Okay. Good night, girl. Good night. Good night. Come on. Bedtime. Bedtime. <laughs> Good night. She's been sleeping in the office oh. and mm. eating, so she's clearly not egg-bound, or she'd be dead by now, but I don't know what's wrong. So. Well, this is that same chicken? This is the same chicken, <laughs> and she's still walking like a penguin. And she's had enemas and all kinds of other treatments. She and has had said. everything under the sun that I can think to give her. <laughs> and by walking like a penguin, you mean with her feet out? No, like all hunched down, like, like, yeah, I'm going to go wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried sneaking up behind the chicken and going, boo? <laughs> 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 Has anyone seen the new movie currently in theater called Late Night with the Devil? No. Because for for there's a character in it who is a very uh, spot on version of uh, the Amazing Randy. Oh. It's about it's about a late night TV show that that has supernatural stuff happening without spoiling, but. He's one of the guests. He's like comes on is like to debunk all the. Of course, in the movie there actually is psychic stuff happening, so he doesn't come off that well. But, <laughs> but it's definitely, you know, a guy. I was a magician, and now I debunk uh, psychics. And here's the here's the five hundred thousand dollar prize. 
Wow. Mm. It's definitely, a, and Randy used to always go on Carson's show. Mm-hmm. It's 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 yeah, if you're interested in that, it's a halfway decent movie if you like weird, scary stuff. It's or really if you were like, reading. gosh, like late night TV stuff. Oh, I'm going to share a quick theater, video. Hmm? It's in a theater. It's in theaters now. Okay. I'm going to share a quick video of the backyard. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. One, ten. <clears throat> okay. Oh, my goodness. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. <laughs> Aww. That's her little pup tent, too. <laughs> oh, I thought that was your homeless neighbor. Nope, that's a that's a dog sized <laughs> tent. Literally a pup tent. Nobody has a ball. Literally a pup. <laughs> yep. I have a runner. I just put a runner in the backyard and I put the tent there with a rock in it so it won't, it won't blow away. So mm. the wind doesn't take it away. It's such a lightweight tent. But the dog puts her toys in there and <laughs> it rains, she'll sit in there for a little while if I leave her outside. Aw, and then she, when she runs around, she can't get away because she's on that thing. Yeah, she she runs back and forth. There's a, there's a runner line between two trees. And yeah. the other day, what was really funny, I don't have a video. I wish I had. The neighbors in the backyard has a fenced in yard, and his dog was out in the yard. And as soon as my dog seen it, she ran towards the fence. But she does. She forgets how long her leash is. It's only like 16 feet side to side. And she hit it running full speed oh, no. so oh. rang her backwards and she did a backflip oh, my wife saw it she said she started laughing laughing but it might have it might have hurt i yeah. think so poor little thing so susan oh you're talking but nobody can hear you you susan yeah you yeah, well, no, you're, muted. you're you're muted, but she's not it muted. Doesn't doesn't say like muted, muted, but it looks doesn't, like she's muted. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe, the, maybe her, If there's something wrong with her mic, how about now? Yeah, yeah now, that's good. Now we can okay. Wait. Just unplugged it and plugged it back in again. I she was know. probably <laughs> just whispering to herself to get us going. Uh -huh. <laughs> what you guys weren't listening to me? I said we are at 15, 15, 15, 15 14, and nine. <laughs> Let's see. We can do. Well, that's our team. Nine. No, it's us. Yay for nine. They're looking for Vincent. I just, I just, I just got the a discovery. I was informed that there's a possibility that we may have access to a timeshare in October in in Vegas. So it's up the week that maybe party. No, my father-in-law. So uh, Is it I will. The week of Psycon. Yeah, no, because we were thinking about going to Psycon. So I mentioned it to my wife, and she says, "Well, my father-in-law uh, has uh, timeshare, so maybe it's our turn anyway." There you and, go. And uh, uh, Ron, I will think about you. And Ron, you could go too <laughs> and bring the kitty cat. I don't know. <laughs> and maybe Bye. Avi will stop in. That well, that's so the thing. Much. He'll he'll he will no he wants he's it was his idea. To go to he he called me up and he called Ron up to see if we would all go if the three of us could go next. Uh, so um, Ron's wife is retiring next fall and my wife might be too. So we we may all just be oh, like be she fun. is retiring. Oh. Wouldn't that be a blast? No, but uh, Debbie, <laughs> that's what I mean. The the website no, should be up I'm hopefully sure in the next few days. You guys announcing and and if it's who I think it is, it should be really interesting. Okay. So announcements, we have anything? Let's see. I've got, hold on. Oh, got it upside down. All right. We did that. Kyle, are you back? I am indeed. Yes. Everybody so look actually, at Kyle's shirt. Oh, yeah. Look at his shirt. Yay. Oh, yay. Oh, that's skeptics at that's awesome. Isn't that great? Okay, Kyle, you, what's going on in Data Skeptic? Well, I took a week off this week, so nothing, nothing new. But if you tune into our latest, we're continuing our exploration of uh, the theme of animal intelligence. Talking to researchers doing interesting things, studying animal behavior and their ability to learn. So that's last couple of weeks and coming up on Data Skeptic. 
Anything with dirty mole rats? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should look into dirty mole rats and see. Dirty dirty mole rats. Right. I agree. Maybe Jamie will help you on that as far as how <laughs> dirty versus clean mole rats. Um, uh, before you go on the... to the next one, let me tell everybody that Kyle oh. did come and talk to my class last Monday. Oh, what the right. only Excellent. But I not only did the class enjoy him during the class, but I've gotten two emails from people in the class thanking me for having you there. Because oh, that's, oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad. That is very nice. Very and I nice. learned a lot, so he's really good. Oh yeah, he's a <laughs> Kyle. Is we know a, this. He is very we talented. We, we we. I found him. Just saying. <laughs> he wasn't <laughs> lost, but she found him. Ah, she ah. discovered him. <laughs> she discovered yeah. the star in the sky. I'm making a star. No, I'm pretty soon, pretty pretty soon, pretty soon he'll be making videos for Vincent's birthday. <laughs> oh yeah he can do that just a well apparently he can do it <laughs> kyle cameo cameo <laughs> he's like uh <laughs> what <laughs> he can't i got it. enough on my plate oh well, you can do that kind of a deep fake with keanu i might even let this group know when my birthday is <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna pick a wee cat and pretend it's thin we'll just make it your birthday so watch out I'll have to start paying attention who hasn't done this yet. Okay. Good job. Thank you, Kyle. Um, I wanted to mention tomorrow, Ben is going to be, Ben Radford's going to be doing a talk for Psycon, uh, uh, CSI on uh, the Eclipse uh, moon hoaxes and stuff like that. That's at four o'clock Pacific time. It's a free thing. If you guys want to go to that, that might be kind of fun. I'm thinking of going. Um, the other thing I was going to mention is that we should be getting Psycon uh, getting going with Psycon pretty soon. It's going to be a blast. As I said, the website, he told me, Barry Carr told me the website should be up in late March. So I'm expecting any time this week. And he already announced because, one it's, because it's April. Yeah. yeah. So it's a delay. But he did mention one person <laughs> today. He shared a video of or an article that somebody had, <clears throat> somebody, some woman that I don't know on food and food science and dieting and stuff like that. And he says, she will be one of our speakers at 2024 or Saigon. So I don't know who that is. It wasn't somebody new, so it's a new name, but he usually does that. And- Was that the farm babe? He didn't call her a farm babe. It was, she, I don't know. Somebody, her somebody goes by that handle. He actually asked me to interview her a few years ago and I never got to it. I don't think the farm babe falls in the skeptics. Oh yes, yeah, she does. Very, you very think? much so. Oh yes. You think really? I'm yes, saying... yes. She's always promoting GMOs and saying these people who are against it are ridiculous. So, yes. Oh, so no, but that doesn't mean she doesn't promote her own baby with farm babe. Here it is. It's Jessica Steiner, and it says Jessica will be joining us at PsyCon this year. How the misinformation is making us fear our food. She's. It's an article on thehill.com. So it's not somebody I know. I'll put a link to this in here so that you guys could check it out. I don't know. It looks so like Alan, it. is that your wife? <laughs> yeah. Another another Steiner. Oh, it is a Steiner. Oh my we're every, god. We're everywhere. So yeah, you we're so now like you know weeds. this like is weeds. Out. I guess yeah. I guess one of their wives is going to be speaking at Psycon this year. <laughs> they don't even know it. They don't even know. They okay. don't tell them. Fascinating. Rob, do you have anything? Well, I'll I'll republish the uh, the link for the interview that I did with you and UFOs. It's it's over nine hundred views now. We need to we want to hit a thousand. We need some more people to watch it who haven't yet. Um, yep. If I watch it a second time, will it count? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll watch it again. <laughs> or I could watch it at work. On a different it computer. Because right? I log no, in to my work account. Um, so that's excellent. This thing about the Havana syndrome has gone nuts. Um, uh, and I wanted to mention that on my Facebook page right now, I posted a graphic of the last two days of how many times the Wikipedia page for the Havana syndrome has been accessed. And it's over 433 times, thousand times in like two days. 
something like that. Over 400,000 in two days. Since the 60 Minutes report, it has gone absolutely bonkers. The conversation on the talk page is like I've never seen it before. Whether or not to include the 60 Minutes report, even whether to include the HIS reports from the government from March. Uh, it, it's, We're staying it's out of it, GSOW. Aren't they're talking we? about stubifying the page and taking out everything <laughs> but medical stuff or creating a second article for just the political stuff about it. It's amazing. Yeah, we're staying far away from it. That's not that's not GSOW's purview to fight it out because it's only going to be a mess. But what I'd like to say is the graphic I just put up on my Facebook page, it's got a graph and Fallon Fox, our favorite UFO troll, is having it out with um, Mick West mm -hmm. and um, Suarachi. So just saying. Well, put, put, put the link in the chat. It's my Facebook page. Okay, here, I'll put a link. All right, and uh, I think that's it, right? We got anything else? Well, Susan, let me just tell people this afternoon, I went to the CFI presentation this afternoon from um, Dr. Christopher Labos. I was there too. About medical I went to that too. And mm -hmm. did you go there too? I went yep. to it too. It was excellent. It was absolutely I excellent. It. I learned so much and I thought I was going to know it all and I did not. It's really good. Um, I just bought his book on Kindle. I put a link to it because it's going to be up. And they said, mm -hmm. I asked when it was going to be up so I could tell my class. And they said in a couple of days. So you, can, it was done live today, but it will be up soon. So you can see it. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I'll, should I put that? I'll put that link in the chat too. Sure. He was a fantastic speaker. He yeah. was. And if I, that, I if found that doesn't chapter, get him, they're making a mistake. He's great. And the chapter read was excellent too. So well, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. They do they and have some quality people out there. I'm on doing the trove segment this week on Skeptic Zone. Oh, is that? Oh, oh, oh cat. I know I'm yeah. so famous. <laughs> I think it's awesome. You'll be You're gonna be fun. doing those clips soon, okay. singing to Vincent. I have oh. a small, like a small announcement, but okay. um I did construction, constructing conversations for Ollie at the Pacific um, a few weeks ago, and I just got an invitation today to not only return as a workshop, but also do a lecture. Ooh. Wow. Right. Nicely done. Yeah. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. Dang. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So we're ready to start back again now. Sorry, Celia, it's your turn. Go for it. Okay. All right. So I'll um, put uh, category in the chat, which I am calling. I'm going to try to pronounce these things right. <laughs> Al Kipulan oh, is an yeah. ancient name for the continent of Africa. Ooh, <laughs> there's um, a we have not seen before. <laughs> it is African country name changes. Ooh. <laughs> so you may know that um, oh, boy. Uh, African countries changed their name um, during colonialism and, and post-colonialism. Uh, and some have changed their name many times. So I'm going to give you uh, 10 former uh, African country names and uh, match them up with their current names. Um, and this is, you know, actual country name changes, not when countries have split like Sudan and South Sudan, but just the same country changing its name. Uh, again, a lot of them at the time that they um, changed colonialism. Some of them changed many different times, but I'm gonna give one former name um, and and then you'll need to, to match it up with a current name. So initially, I was just gonna give you the ancient name and the, or the former name and you had to come up with it yourself. And then I thought that's too mean. So I thought we'll match them up. Um, and I thought, well, if we're 10 former names and 10 current ones, that might be a little too easy. So I've got 10 former countries and I'll provide 15 options of which ones to match it up with. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, 
And obviously you was, <laughs> don't have to pronounce them correctly or anything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me come up with my, okay. I'm going to try to copy and paste into the chat. Okay, so these are uh, five former names. I mean, 10 former names, you know, former names of 10 African countries. First, and I try to put them alphabetically to not show any bias. One, Belgian Congo. Two, French Soudan. Three, Gold Coast. Four, Northern Rhodesia. Five, Portuguese East Africa. Six, Portuguese West Africa. Seven, Southern Rhodesia. So there was a Northern Rhodesia and a Southern Rhodesia and a Portuguese East Africa and a Portuguese West Africa. Uh, eight, Southwest Africa. Nine, Swaziland. And 10, Upper Volta. Oops, oops, I'm sorry. I thought I'd already <laughs> put it there while I was reading it out. Shoot, I'm sorry. I meant to send, send that to you earlier. Okay, now let me copy and paste the 15 current African names. We had a class on this sometime, maybe eighth grade, seventh grade. And we had to pick some of one of these countries and write to the government and see if we got a response. And I actually got a response from the king of Swaziland or someone oh, really? in his office. You still have that card? Yeah, I have it somewhere. That's very cool. Well, that hopefully will be useful. However, it will not. Of, I remember none some of, of those. Some of those countries, including Swaziland, have since changed their name. I know. Well, there you go. Swaziland. Was an oh, that's a really interesting thing to do. Okay, so um, here are current names of those 10 countries plus five more alphabetically. A, Angola, B, Botswana, C, Burkina Faso, D, Central African Republic, E, Ethiopia, F, Eswatini, G, Ghana, H, Mali, I, Mozambique, J, Mambia, K, Republic of Congo, not to be confused with M, the Democratic Republic of Congo, N, Togo, O, Z Zambia, and P, Zimbabwe. And J must be Namibia. Uh, Namibia. Yeah. Sorry. I think it's missing Sorry. an I. Yeah. Oh, you, I bet you're right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, any questions? Or I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You gotta yeah, it sounds good. Match the countries up. How did you say C? Uh, Burkina Faso. That sounds like a swear. <laughs> no, no, it's a it's a country. No, I believe you, but it just to me, it sounded like a swear. <laughs> no, <word>. Susan, <laughs> if you're okay with, I do have a a bonus that might. What is it? Sure. Okay. You're okay with me giving a bonus. Nobody's going to fire you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bonus. How many countries are there in the continent of Africa? I'll just say Africa, right out Africa. But you'd be amazed how many Americans treat Africa as though it were one kind, it were a country instead of a continent. And it's not. It's a continent with many countries. How many? Is there a plus or minus on that? No. <laughs> it's a bonus round. I thought about it, but that's ah, a bonus. So All still, right. so yeah, still plus just or minus 10, zero. Points, 10 points total. Yeah. Right. Okay. Fantastic. It's good when we haven't done this before. <laughs> Yeah, so, so I gave you the West Indies before, and now we're going home to the motherland. <laughs> so the Al, uh, so we're 
I learned from my husband, and he wasn't sure, but he thinks it's Swahili, that that uh, Al Kibulan, um, oh, he's, he was trying to correct my pronunciation. What is it? Al 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 I put that. Oh, that sounds better. Al Kibulan, that's much better. Um, anyway, also sometimes gets translated as mother of humankind or garden of Eden. No, and that it's makes true. sense. It makes true. The graphic has indeed both those things. All right. So Susan, remind me when I jumped to different um, rooms that I went last time I got stuck. <laughs> okay. Well, so, so I'm not going to take your powers away from you. So I will, you can have your powers the whole night. So if you get stuck, you can unstuck yourself. So if I get stuck, I can unstuck myself. Okay. So you don't have to end up in this, the right room at the end. Oh, just, just remember to leave the room, not leave the meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What no, if what no, if no. we go? What if we go to our rooms and Susan and yeah, yeah, Delia stay here and talk about it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. by all means, go to your room. But I'm going to be so much help for rooms, and I will figure it out. <laughs> hey, Delia, can that. you figure out how to send us to our rooms? Oh, I need to do that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is alerting. This is oh my gosh. you're all going to be little zoom zoom amazing people. Is it? I just have to interject more? really quickly, Susan. You training us on Zoom has been awesome. I mean, I was already pre pretty proficient, but I had a training session last week, and the woman shared her screen, and then she had a co-host. She couldn't figure out how to give the co-host powers, so I just unmuted myself and i'm like look it's three steps this is all you have to do 18 <laughs> minutes they farted around 18 minutes in a professional training setting i'm like you need to go to trivia <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's true i think everybody here was gosh when we started this there was like you know now they're like hey i can share a screen i can do this i can vincent was like i'm gonna optimize the video now da, 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 da. You right. Know, I'm going to do all the things. Right. So thank you, Susan. You're very Thank welcome. you, Susan. Yes, of course. I taught you how to use Zoom after I learned how to use it. <laughs> okay, so you, you can go. Okay, yeah. So pick up breakout rooms. So I have a list of the breakout rooms now, and I can just join them. And join and then leave. Time. But make sure you don't leave meeting. Just leave the room. Right. Hop around. The room, room three is the room that's going to be recorded. So if you want to watch the video later, you can watch room three. Right, and that's my room. That okay. Recorded. So spend less time in room three. I see what you're saying. And have fun and, and make sure that you don't give anything away because it's really <laughs> hard because people are going to be talking. You're going to be like, what are you doing? But actually, no, no. <laughs> no, and this is, it's a hard category. Mute yourself when you go into the room. That's the best way of doing it. You'll have fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Well, Susan knows all the answers, so I do, but I don't down. want to show off. Mm -hmm. uh, please show, show off. off. Well, okay. The Republic of Congo, I think, is all Volta, I think. Swaziland yeah. is well. I don't know. I don't want to show off. Really, I don't. We we really need you to. Sit. No, I, no. I'm, I'm even thinking last place, you know. Zimbabwe is a country that I mean, uh, Swaziland is the one that I wrote to and got a picture of the king with a thank you note. Um, I, I recall that it was in southern Africa, but other Isn't than that, that a country that's surrounded by South Africa, uh, possibly, uh, maybe. I think there's 59 countries in Africa or 57, something like that. Mm -hmm. 50 something. Wow. I don't know what. So oh, is it is it is it Zimbabwe or Swaziland? Well, that's my guess. So all right, that works. Mm. One down. Jordan, nice. you're supposed to be doing and this at school, for right? For whatever now. it's worth, was is it not? Are you learning Africa the, uh, countries? I have U.S. history, so no. My oh, goodness, no. what do they teach kids these days? <laughs> How useless. <laughs> How useless. Okay. Did, did Gail, did you mention one? Um, I didn't exactly mention one, but Namibia okay. was the name, the old name of the country just south of 
of Egypt. And I'm wondering if that is a new name or if that's just she put in an old, old, old name. And did I add What's right? What's called Namibia back in oh. ancient Egypt times? I think, I, I think you're right. Namibia was right next to Egypt. It, yeah. And it was next to Egypt, like back in the time when Egypt was, you know, the pharaohs and all that. So it's either huh. they reclaimed an old name, right? I, I didn't realize, or um, well, we know five of these aren't going to be used. So exactly, that's what I'm wondering if she just used actual old old names. So number one, do we think that's probably got to be K or M, right? Anyone no. have a thought as to which of the two? I have no idea. No thought. Well, I used to collect stamps, and Upper Volta had some of the most awesome stamps. They had these big masks and stuff like that. And so I think that Upper Volta, as I said, I think is... I have a feeling it's Republic of Congo. So if that helps with eliminating... I, I don't... <laughs> I'm not 100 sure, but I, I have a feeling that Which means that, we can make this so that one makes Democratic one. Republic of Congo to the other one. Ben, yeah, can you can you can, can can you tab between the uh, the number the, the answers and the and the questions? Put a tab. Tab or put put spaces. Ah, uh, yeah, I should be able to. Like, it's not like how many tabs you want. To, well, to put them all in one row, so they're like in a line, essentially, just like the one, two, three, four are to the right. Oh, I should we just put multiple spaces so that they D does tab not work in that application? It does. Do you want me to like line Stop right them up? there? There you go. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Put them yeah, all. Yeah. So the so the letters are all above each other. So that if you drew yeah, a line, yeah, there you go. I like that. Yeah. Bueno. Thank you. Okay. So now, I'm thinking Gold Coast may be Ghana because of the location. Oh, I like I like that. That could be right. that could be it. Yeah, I like that too. So French Sudan, hmm, that is that. Uh, well, the Sudan is that not the, one of the northern countries? Um, the Sudan is is uh, well, kind of between well, um, uh, Tunisia and Egypt. Right. Yeah. So which of those other ones would have been? Botswana is that Rhodesia? I think you might be right. Or one or southern? I don't know which one, but it seems like it's. Rhodesia. So Botswana, we think is. Did you have a have another choice for Rhodesia, you guys? No. Nope. Like. Um, this one, Southern Rhodesia. We could put it on both of them. I don't know. I don't well, know. You said Rhodesia. Like... Is there more than one, or Northern Rhodesia. Rhodesia? Which one do we think? Oh man. I don't care. I I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's right. Um. Let's see. Just Mozambique. imagine you're imagine you're a little immigrant African kid and you're trying to learn the difference between North Dakota, South Dakota, South, right. South Carolina, and North right. Carolina. Sure. I've never <laughs> even heard of the current name as Swat Neat. Swat I haven't I haven't either. Which well, one? Nor, nor, nor yes. Burkina Faso is a country. I've heard yeah, Burkina, exactly. Burkina, I've heard Burkina Bur Faso is a Muslim country. That's it's and Africa it's right. it's it's in uh, Central Africa. I think it's even I'm trying to think. It's just south of Morocco, maybe. Maybe oh, a little. So then it would be that. West Portuguese West Africa, Portuguese, maybe. Portuguese, Portuguese it, West Africa. Yeah. Well, For, there is a South, West South Africa on here, and I think the other Portuguese one is Angola. So Angola? you're almost done. No. Uh -huh. No. 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 <laughs> Wait, we said. You're sorry, oh, me. sorry. A couple other groups have finished. Which? Where are you? Oh, where are the you? one where Robin's Carl's on. Yeah. Carl's we're almost, almost done. We'll be done in a few. Robin is our geographer. Okay, okay. Got one, two, three. Oh, you're not so bad. So the French. Oh, here's the rain. Said, Hold on. I, so... I'm trying to ask a question. Portuguese East Africa was Angola, or West? I don't know, but I think it's one of the it's one of the Portuguese ones. I think. I don't know why. That's just a feeling that I have. And then, but we had another one for West. I just, I'm trying not to miss these. We, we got a lot of talking to them. Someone mentioned something for West Africa too. Portuguese West Africa. 
whenever um, you decide to close the room, Celia, there's a two minute right close. So okay, whenever so you, you think get a little you warning, away, you get a little warning. Yeah, I don't know what the other one would be. Give us a minute and then close them. Okay. <laughs> Francis Sudan like, sounds like Mozambique. Uh, so that that I'm assuming they would use the same. So uh, you know, the French, and they probably would not use the French. Not that I know anything, but well, Mozambique sounds French. It yeah, does. that's my point. I think they yeah. would try to avoid that. These were trying to get away from there. Well, but then why would any of the former oh. colonies use a French word like Mozambique? You're right. Go for it. Yeah. And we'll and Mozambique is out. Mozambique is Indonesia. Oh my gosh, it's raining hard. I read I think Northern Indonesia is Central African Republic for some reason. I could be Rhodesia Mozambique. Is in Rhodesia. Yeah. Moza yeah. Mozambique has been Mozambique for a while because it was in a, a Bob Dylan song. Uh -huh. Uh, from nineteen two minutes warning oh, late right, late seventies Ethiopia. Ethiopia well Ethiopia I is mean, which of these countries is in the southwest uh not oh. not Ethiopia Ethiopia is in the in the east oh it's so we have Ethiopia, two western countries we need southwest and Portuguese west we need two western okay, countries. Ethiopia is none of those. Shoot. It could be that uh, es, uh, Eswatini place. Could be. <laughs> put something in. I don't care. Put in put in Burkina Faso because I think oh. that I remember hearing about that one. This one is which one? which one? For either one. Because I don't know. I, mean, I don't think it's in this. It's it's not in the south though. Because I was just looking at a map west, the other day. Put it in the west. Yeah, put it up there. Okay. Yeah. Need one more. Um Zambia, Togo. Yeah, how about oh Mal, uh, Namibia? Maybe Namibia. No, I Namibia. think I think Namibia is not there. I think it's an old name. No, yeah. but I think it's it is in the west though. Is that what? It, okay, it, no, I think it's it's south of Egypt. Well, Everything's is. south of Egypt. <laughs> oh, I mean directly south of Egypt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh okay. where 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 is Togo? I I like Togo for that. Let's do Togo. All right. Okay. Just a guess, but and then we should at least guess on the bonus. Fifty something, fifty-seven. Fifty something. Fifty-seven. I like that. Fifty-seven. Okay. Fifty-seven sounds that good. For you guys. All right. Yeah. Okay. yeah sure. We have sure. no idea. Heinz fifty-seven. So I like it. Heinz, that's that's where Heinz fifty-seven gets its yeah. uh, number. That's right. That's very. Well, we like the number, so we, that's why we're picking it too, right? All right. I think well, it's a it's a prime number. It's well, good. good job, answer. team. Good job. That was hard. Hey, Susan, don't forget that the recording is in progress. Oh, thank you so much. That was, <laughs> that was really hard, Celia. Yeah. At least our team was. So. And I it didn't so. help that you came in and said, oh, the others are all dead. We're like... <laughs> Well, not everyone. No, but I was amazed at how quickly this one group finished. And I was like, oh my gosh, let me go check on the Robin, other. Robin, I, the the so I bet it was Robin's team. Is it Robin? I think so. If you knew the answer, it goes very fast. He's like, yeah, right. Talking yes. about. I, I don't know that we know the answers, but. Well, you've been all over the world so much, so I thought. Never been to yeah, Africa. You and Jamie. Well, we were trying, we were trying to figure <laughs> out what what key the uh the the african toilets were in and, you know. <laughs> that's important stuff you know oh are you gonna use that alan are you gonna make sure the next time you're with a group of mus mus just musicians you're gonna make sure everybody knows what key yeah, get to tune the orchestra to the toilets <laughs> my tuner all set I'll, I'll like, all right, alan, did you know that did you know what key the toilets flush in no no. He no, had C. We he had C. Right. We're if never going to outlive that category. If you went and listened <laughs> to the toilet, serious. could you tell? I have a very serious category, but it followed the toilets, I'm telling you. Yeah. 
There are answers. Hey, wait, wait. This wasn't the bonus, was it? No. No, no, no I didn't think so. No. Did you fall okay. asleep no. again, Alan? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, because uh, Celia mentioned this being the bonus or something. No, no, but... no, 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 no. No. There's a bonus. There was a bonus question. There was a bonus remember? question. Just one okay. question. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Just okay. because I had it. But um, yeah, no, we we still have more to go through, but we're not gonna outlive the toilets. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna copy and paste here. Oh shoot, come on. And Susan still needs people for next week. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Uh good point. Good point. Okay, I won't so be just here saying. next week unless I learn how to do this on my phone. So <laughs> mm, I wouldn't try it. Um uh, you can get around in with your phone. just use remote viewing. Just okay. like send your I'll do that. <laughs> we have Wendy and we have Rob doing bonus next week. I could do one next week, Susan. Got it. Oh cut and paste is giving me a hard time. Okay. Anybody else while she's figuring out cut and paste? Okay, I I'll I'll figure it out here. Sorry guys. It's just I know how to cut and paste. It's just the computer's being a little Oh, come on. Well, I have one ready, ready, Susan, if you want it. Okay. Got it. Just went. Vincent, uh, Jordan had to get ready for bed, but they wanted me to tell you that they listened to your musical round and they loved your singing. Oh, well, thank Aww. you. That is special. Thank you. You're welcome. He's tell them gonna, thank you. Vincent's going to be doing his own... Um, uh, cameos pretty soon. <laughs> that would be cool. He'd be better than um, Santos. <laughs> yeah, I'd pay. Hey, good night, everybody. Oh, thank you. Bye, good, night. Jordan. Bye. good night, Jordan. Good night, Jordan. Jordan. Oh, she disappeared. She just, just went uh -oh. to the light. <laughs> oh no! Went into the oh, light. That cloud is very start, start on um, African history. What? What are the lines? Let me cut and paste before, and now it's being all difficult. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Phew. Okay. All right. The answers. Number one, Belgian Congo is is now the is now the Democratic Republic of Congo. But many of you may have learned of it in school as I did as Zaire. So that was oh, a, yeah. that was a name in between. Mm. It was Belgian Congo. And it was Zaire, and now it's the Democratic Republic of Congo. Will you please also say the letter, even though it's written? Oh, yes, absolutely. So number one, Belgian Congo is M, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thank you. Two, French Soudan is H, Mali. Yay. Oh. Yay, Simply Sudan. Yep. And... Um, Three, the Gold Coast is G, Ghana. Yay. Good, 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 good. We're going to get a point G for that Ghana, one. Uh, which was one of the first African countries to actually get independence from their colonizer from England. And it was the first Peace Corps country. So <laughs> there you go. Um, four, Northern Rhodesia is O, Zambia. <clears throat> Five, Portuguese East Africa is now I, Mozambique. Oh. And six, Portuguese West Africa is now A, Angola. Oh, oh. oh well, sorry. Seven, Southern Rhodesia is P, Zimbabwe. And eight, Southwest Africa is J, I'm the one that's going to mispronounce Namibia. it. Namibia. Namibia. <laughs> Namibia. Namibia. Ah, I'm because because I was reading off. I I missed the I. Ma Namibia. Namibia. And then uh, nine Swaziland. Um, I believe is the most recent name change. I can't swear by that because I didn't look it up, but I believe so. Is F, um, Eswatini. And that changed in oh, 2018 great. only. Wow. They um, changed the flag too. And um, 10, Upper Volta is C, uh, Burkina Faso. Yeah. Sorry, team. I thought I knew that one. Yeah. I wasn't even close. 
That was <laughs> and so the, the bonus, there are currently there are 54 countries in oh, oh we got oh, this. Oh. We got close. We were this is plus or minus. Close. We were one off. Zero. No. We said 57. Jeez, I hope uh my team got something. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, let's keeping... see what we did. Or... Everybody get your scores together. Let's see. So, yeah, I mean, it's quite obvious why there'd be the name changes from the, you know, from the colonizer, the Belgian and the French and whatever. And Rhodesia was named after Cecil Rhodes, who is the epitome of right supremacist, maybe the worst ever. So it's pre pretty logical reasons why, you know, they changed those names. Why so, did they change Swaziland, which didn't sound I like know, colonial name? I'm not, I'm not sure. That was a much more recent. Um, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up because yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I'll write my friend the king and ask him. <laughs> there you go. still yeah. the same king from when you were a little boy? Uh, I don't think they have kings anymore. Most African countries are democracies. Not everyone, but well, supposedly so is the UK, and they have a king. So well, you know. supposedly so is the US. Constitutional monarchy. Um. Anyway, there we are. Yeah, I thought it was so interesting. So my, my husband and I were sort of, you know, learning some of those, and I thought, oh, that would be a great trivia. It is but a good category. So I looked a bunch up because you know we've been. I think we should spend learning a bit on Africa, learning our African history, because there's probably amazing amounts of it oh at least 50 at least 54 countries <laughs> it's it's fascinating it, it is it's really it's uh yeah and some of the countries are teeny and some of them are huge and yeah. all right you guys let's go with our scores so where did vincent go uh well the curse lives on we got a two Right here. Oh, oh well, nice it, we got two. Well, well, All right. We didn't get zero. Which two? Hospitals are preparing for eclipse observers. There'll be a site for sore eyes. We got seven. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, because um, we swapped two of our answers. Otherwise, we would have had nine, and we were one off the yeah. bonus. Oh. Yeah. A hellebore by any other name. And. Oh, wow. wow. Boeing has an open door policy. Four. Oh, hey, that's better than double R. We had four. six. No, not not what I had on here. Maga upheld his lies, but now his truth. Wait a minute. Four uh, eyes. Ten. What? God. How wow. did you guys get ten? That's amazing. Caspian got ten. We only got two without him. <laughs> And the Bro other and Caspian. Said, well, we would have gotten four. We would have gotten four because yeah. uh, Karen. Bonus did. trivia: Which one of those countries is met and mentioned in the Billy Joel song "We Didn't Stop the Fire"? When? Congo. Doing? Belgians in the Congo. Very good. You score a point. Doing this thing mm -hmm. <laughs> good job, Celia. That was yeah. probably, yeah, no, that was probably really needed. I'm I'm impressed actually. Well, wait a minute. Let me talk to my team. I think we got we got number three. Did yeah. we get the Rhodesias correct? Nope we uh, we got three, eight, nine, and ten. What about four and five? I said that they were. You have Rhodesia with Zimbabwe, not Zambia. And five Portuguese East Africa we had as the Central African Republic. But I think that Northern and Southern Rhodesia we had Zambia and Zimbabwe exactly the right way. And then we had Namibia. Yeah, so you have to take Zambia off and replace it with Zimbabwe. Darn. We, ha we had seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, and then was, we no, had... only eight, nine, and ten. Seven, we had Botswana. Not Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe was up on northern Rhodesia. Well, I'll let you guys fight it out. A couple tens. I'm, I'm in. Okay, okay. So. and and I want to give credit really again. I've, I've mentioned this before. Robin recommended this game called World Dull, and that the four that I knew. That's how I why I knew them from that wow. game. World I played Dull. that game once. I've got. I played it once. I was so off. I said this is scary. <laughs> World Dull. <laughs> but I have it on my phone now. 
I I will try next time I'm I'm in the in the bathroom. <laughs> I've only been to one <laughs> African country and it's not on there. That was South Africa. <laughs> um, All right, Robin, yeah. you're up. Okay. Yay, Celia! Thank you. Very Yay. good, Celia. Thank you. That was it. Was it was fun to do? Was it fun watching us? It was. Yeah, yeah. And again, watching I'm us with how well I'm actually impressed. Talk with ourselves well. in and out of question answers. And it's kind of interesting to me which countries were the the easiest to sort of figure out which were which were harder. You can watch our video later when yeah, it's uploaded. Yeah, you can see the category. Were, they, were, they were they were pretty hard. Watch us reason it out in room three with our two. <laughs> it wasn't much uh no. <laughs> Robin? Okay, so for mine, I am I am stealing my favorite category ever from that Deborah came up with a long time ago, which was the human activities category with four words. Oh. It's a little <laughs> like connections. <laughs> um so oh, I've yeah, got yeah. a bunch of words. Uh, four words for each number one two three four and um so you you look at the four words and you're going to tell me what these four words what hobby or human activity it's usually going to be a hobby or some kind of pastime um they refer to i remember deborah doing this that this was a like long the game time connections ago. is that what we're doing here a little bit a little bit and i barely remember doing that category i remember you doing it yeah. Are we calling this connections? <laughs> We're gonna call it connections a little bit. So yeah. I don't what well, you're just gonna further explain it because I, I saw what you put up there and I'm like, what what what's the question? Okay, so if you look at number one, mm -hmm. these four words have to do with a particular hobby or a particular it could be a sport, a hobby, a pastime, uh um something that people do. So uh an activity an activity so yeah. all of these things will make sense when you figure out which the hobby or whatever it is yeah exactly makes sense this is like uh, connections with new york times uh wordle game a little bit yeah yeah so you know sometimes if you know one of these words you'll go oh, i know i know that word has to do with a particular sport or a particular hobby or a particular something that people do okay we ready to go to our rooms yep i don't know if i have powers breakout rooms let me see if i have powers open all rooms i only Which... have one job here you guys <laughs> why do they challenge me thinking i don't i don't know it's easy oh, i'm gonna go to have fun okay so who's in charge Hi, team. Okay, here's the, the list. If anyone doesn't believe that I got it right, these are the answers that we had here but from the last one. But anyways. Yes. Number one is sailing. Yeah. Sailing. Huh? Yeah. It's the only one I can think of. Mm -hmm. So uh, 10 is something to do with uh, like uh, either like lumberjack, lumber, lumber with lumber. Yeah. Carpentry, Carpentry yeah. yeah, yeah. Number two, grip off. Hmm. Is eight meditation? Yeah, Ooh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And it's nine uh, photography. Yeah. Yeah. Six. Come on, Come on now. seven is. Uh, seven, you should have known that one. I'm I'm just busy copying the questions over onto my spreadsheet. I haven't gotten that far. Seven is beer. Eight already, is meditation. Right? Six six archery. Yep. Three seems to be climbing. A C T P C. Okay, that works. But the only one I know there is belay, but that's. Oh, the only thing I, I, I was looking at Skyhook and I figure maybe that was uh, basketball, basketball, but, but I don't recognize rest, it. It's yeah. nothing else there. Chimney effect. Huh. Number two, they're capitalized. I, well, 
I guess everything's capitalized. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say Twitch is a is a service that you use to broadcast videos and like have meetings and stuff like Zoom, sort of. Yeah, but I don't think that works for the other ones. Grip off, uh, dip could, out, could, uh, grip off. Like, could that be like uh, climbing? Um, well, we're we're in a climbing category. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, uh, cliff, cliff cli rock climbing or something. Well, well we already have... number three already covered. Oh, yeah. You're, yeah, that's right. A-T, A-Z-T. A-Z-T, what is that? That seems some peace. Well, that's that's the uh, AIDS drug, but. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Could these be drugs? Well, those, are, those are time zones. No, not A-Z-T. No, there's Arizona. Oh, Arizona's got its own time zone. Yeah, but it'd be A-E-S-T. Uh, okay, what are the time zones? The other ones Central... are Pacific, Central, Central Daylight. Well, they time, all end but... in T. Right, but but uh, Pacific Pacific time is going to be P-S-T or P-D-T. Yeah, it's Pacific Daylight. Uh, I guess that's time. true. That's true. It'd be P-D. Unless they that's do another... all end in T. I mean, they're not necessarily American Television? times. True. Well, why don't you put that down until we can think yeah, of something Yeah, until we get something else, yeah. Mm -hmm. Although she said it's activity, so I don't know if that necessarily fits. Yeah, but... P-C-T. A-Z-T. That is a drug, isn't it? Yeah. yeah but, but the other ones don't look like drugs that I'm familiar with. Al day, because Merck doesn't make them, that's all. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we don't do any of that stuff. What are we missing? Two, four, uh, and five. And... Why do we think that this one is weightlifting? Number two, but oh, except for the guess. butter butt. Lines. Or some gymnastics type thing. Butter butt. That's back. That's going back to the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on toilets. That's what number two is. Um, number four, chimney effect is what happens in fires, forest wildfires. Comb. But I don't know, but I don't know what that has to do with the rest of it. So them. then that could very well be firefighting, uh, forest fire. Uh, uh, but none of those other three don't. <laughs> Oh. Territories. I was a little overzealous with number two, <laughs> but I know at least one team got it right. Oh, challenge accepted. Um, <laughs> we're not leaving. Until we get it right. Yeah, we saw butter butt there and we thought it was dealing with toilets again. Tables. Yeah, I'm not square, thrilled with square dance square dancing. <laughs> Number two. That makes sense. Or dancing. And that general. would make sense. You know who would get it right? Rob Palmer. Rob. You want to go and square dancing or just somebody got it right? So I bet you you're Well, right. put it down. Same thing. And now she gets something better. Does Rob do square dancing? He does dancing. Dancing. Well, oh. he does line dancing. He's he does a big all kinds, yeah, country, country and western, western uh, fan. His wife and him go wow. all the time. Interesting. Oh, Caspian's back. Where'd he go? Hmm. Um, Public speaking, number four. <laughs> so, Rob, did you say these are all activities or they're just... No, she said hobby. They could be activity. an activity, a hobby, a sport. But um, it's, something you, it's something you do. It's something you might do on a Saturday, yeah. Okay, so okay, that, is, that says out. five is out then. All yeah, right. I've been trying to think of things that start with T. That would be like tobogganing or something that has an active... 
like a tea, like toilets. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brand names for toilets. Um, because that is what is in common. They all have a T. But it's something you so do. So it probably stands for something like Arizona Taylors or or tacos, toiletries, times, golf tournaments. Um, age no because golf tournaments are named for people now or things like companies well it's companies are sponsoring them yeah yeah like the at&t <laughs> or whatever yeah um two. territories no but again it's it's activities things you yeah, do so think of an activity tables tennis some kind, of some kind of training training aerobic training i don't know on number four there's drone obviously the drones that fly but there's also drone on that's what i was thinking speaking like some kind of like public yeah speaking, public speaking yeah i do public speaking Chimney effect? come on now yeah, I don't it's know. It's where, where you're just blowing smoke. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Man. Tennis? Could four be tennis? No. I've never yeah. heard of any of those in tennis. A tennis. Yeah. Music related? I was thinking of raising chickens. The comb on the chip. Well, it's not actually on rooster, but I'm going to close the rooms if you guys are ready. But, um, you know, we we still have two to go, but you might as well close them anyways. We're gonna no, we're not. I don't think we're going to come up with anything in the next. So, uh, Ron, why don't you put a, a, a public speaking for number four? It's probably wrong, but we haven't got anything else. Yeah. And I guess for five, go back to the time zones, even though. Well, the time zones, I mean, it's activities. So, yeah, we can safely rule that one out. How about. Um... I was looking for training for the T. So, it's like, you know, different. Types of train, personal training, or something. Or something. Military, military training. Military. I was just thinking more military of, training, private. Yeah, like pri uh, just training regimens. Ironically, the training. There's there's CBT, uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. Oh, oh ther therapy. therapies. Oh yeah. I like that even better. That is good. Cognitive behavioral therapies, and then there would be what? What would the others be? I don't know. Conductor therapies? Proof of concept therapies? <laughs> but I therapies know. is a much better guess. But there's so many out there that, you know, we may it's not an, know them. And that's only, therapy? That's no. only pulling that out of my nether regions. The uh, toilet regions? Huh? More, more toilet More humor. Reasons. Yeah, from yeah, it, it comes right out of your butter, a butter butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it's. No, I think we got at least probably five of them. Really? And after that, who knows? Oh. I think we got eight. You think it's eight? Okay. Seven. seven. Chalkboard. Chimney. Of... Chimney effect is. Hmm? Number four. Chimney effect? It could it be climbing? Oh, we already got climbing. And chimney effect, you, you do a chimney hole when you go rock climbing, but it's not a chimney effect. 
chimney effect. You blow smoke up somebody's ass because you're public speaking. When you're public back speaking. to the toilet. <laughs> Is it blowing the smoke? You're droning. You're blowing smoke. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got to uh, look sharp. Well, you I'm should know this wrong on that one, but it's... you should you should know this from your public speaking stuff, Helen. That's right. Well, you're blowing job, smoke everybody. all the time. I, I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, we will. Okay. Answers. I guess. That was hard. That was fun. Some were great. Some were hard. There's a couple of them was hard. We're hard. This is a good category. I yeah, like the was, separating you did. fun coming up with those. Mm -hmm. I can see okay. other people doing this. Yeah. Number one is sailing. Probably. Did anybody not get that? We we got it. Amazing. Okay. Uh, Robin, are you oh. going to tell us what the terms mean or we have to just look them up on our own? Do you want me to tell you what they no. mean? No. Yeah. It'll take you too long. <laughs> It'll take a long time. <laughs> I'll definitely explain <laughs> number two. How about? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, for this, okay. do you want the sailor terms? The about? answer is Robin, correct? Robin what Welch. Is? The answer <laughs> for number two is Robin Welch. Mm. <laughs> Probably. Uh, the answer for number two is bird watching. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and um, uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I had. <laughs> should have known. The we first known. three, grip off, dip out, and twitch, are all three terms that came from England, but they've been widely used in the United States now for probably 30 years. But they first originally, the um, England English birders had these terms, and then Bill Otty wrote a book called Bill Otty's Little Black Bird Book in which he explained all these terms to the Americans, and then the Americans started using them. But being grip, gripped off, grip off means um, you went to see a rare bird and your arch enemy saw it, but you missed it. That's getting gripped uh -huh. off. Or as Bill Lottie would say, not nearly as pleasurable as it sounds. Um, <laughs> dipping out means you went to chase a rare, rare bird and you did not see the bird. Twitch means um, to go chase a rare bird. Uh, twitchers, twitters, twitchers, twitter twitchers is sometimes a pejorative uh, with bird watchers. Oh, so it says a twitcher. They don't they don't care about the bird, just they care about their list. Uh -huh. And wow. and butterbutt is the nickname for one of our most common birds in the United States, the um, uh, yellow rumped rump warbler. warbler. Some hmm. people got that part. Who, who? How many people? How many teams got this one? Yeah, we got it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good, good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So number three is rock climbing. Got yeah. climbing, climbing good enough? And where's climbing. American it's climbing death spine. triangle? And it's your team, climbing, remember that. Climbing. Okay. American yeah. death triangle is that a place where more people have died? No, no, it's just, it's it's a it's an anchor rope anchor thing. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Death. Goodness, it sounds super. <laughs> That's what hard. happens if it do, if it doesn't work. That's. <laughs> well, I thought it, I literally thought it was a place where more climbers died. Yeah, no. Well, at least got climbing. Uh, it's like an arrangement of the ropes or something. That's in Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make it sound conspiratorial. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, number four is beekeeping. Oh, yeah, we, oh, we, we figured that out. out. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, we got oh, my God. What's oh, the chalkboard? What's chimney? Ch chalk, chalk chalk road, road, road is a disease of bees. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense now. And I chimney don't... effect means like if you have a row of bee um beehives, they the, the bees tend to go out to the edges. Yeah. Oh, join, I join with the outer edges of the yeah. and then number five is long distance hiking or hiking's fine. Oh okay. ET is the Appalachian Trail, the oh. Arizona Trail. Yes. The Pacific Crest Trail and the Continental Divide Trail. Oh, <laughs> never... the team is important. <laughs> A friend of mine did all four. Who did all four? A friend of mine did all four. Oh, my daughter wow. wants to do very all four. Small fraternity. Yeah, yeah, very. Um, number six is archery. Number seven is beer making. Yep. Number eight is yoga. Oh, Med meditation. Meditation. Good meditation. I think meditation's okay. Yeah, I'll take meditation. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then um, number nine is photography. And number 10 is woodworking. Carpentry. Yeah, right. yep. What's a hot shoe? It's, it's a on top of the camera that is, 
that you plug the uh, flash into. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Yeah. All right. So let's go to scores. I forget what we did for what we got for four. Oh, where'd Brandy go? She's back. We have shoes when you put a match in someone's shoe and you light it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then you take so a here... picture of them, so that's photography. All right, where did Vincent go? Right here. We got a nine. <laughs> oh, so much nine. Oh, you're, in your yeah. you're in competition now? <sighs> For a minute. Stop. For a minute. You almost doubled your score. Boeing has an open door policy. Yeah. Seven. And hospitals are preparing for eclipse observers. There'll be a site for sore eyes. One. We got nine. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> Somebody said one. Uh, <laughs> Holoborn by any other name. Ken. Helaborn. Oh. Helaborn. <laughs> All right, MAGA upheld his lies, but now his truth plummets before our eyes. Nine. Well. Which one did we miss? Uh, snowboard. That's what we said, snowboard. No, no, we put snowboard and it was uh, bird watching. No. Oh. oh. Yeah, not only Better what we put. Okay. They're, they're the same thing. I'm trying to remember which one we missed. I thought it was tobacco chewing. On our team is doing so well. We're still in last place. Okay, so last hope. Let's see. 30, we're at 20 to 35. So 15 points separate the last place and the first place. Caspian asked if he could do this category. So let's see. What do you got? Oh, we're All in right. Composer Hans Zimmer has had 36 projects that he has worked on that have been nominated for or won an Academy Award, a Grammy, a BAFTA, an Emmy, a Golden Globe, or a Saturn Award as a composer. Name any 10 of these projects. They're all films or television projects. Who's the guy again? Who? <laughs> Hans Zimmer. Hans. H-A-N-S? Yeah. Go to okay. your room. Guys, I gotta head out. Oh, come on, Mike. I don't, I don't blame you, Mike. <laughs> See you later. See you later, Mike. <laughs> I think so, I'm going to do that too. I don't know a single one. Sorry, team. Oh man, I've never even heard of him. Caspi, can you just put the whole kind of category in there? And the awards we're talking about. Is Caspi gone already? Huh. Uh, uh, I think he's gone. Can you go tell him to put that in the chat or something? Okay. That's not really. Uh. Just shut down randomly. Caspian, it's been requested that you put it in the chat, the the criteria or something. Okay. Can you also give this uh account uh breakout room privileges? Please? Uh, you have to go back to the main room and then I can do it. Okay. I will I'll meet you there. Okay, I think I have the power. You're muted. Put in the put in the chat what the category whatever it is you just said. Hans Zimmer. I'm going to do a broadcast message. Well, I think you're going to have to go to each room because broadcast only appears for like 30 seconds, 10 seconds. Uh, and Rob in room three is asking for help. So you know damn well what he wants. So go to room three first. But put it in. Yeah, you'll need to go to each room and make sure they have it. <clears throat> and I'm going back to my room because they need my help. Where's mine? So go to each room and give it to him also. 
claws. I but think he, he had a score thumb. or something. He did like a score. Do, you, Maybe do you know this guy, Susan? <laughs> He's going to come and I'm aware of this guy because I used to play a game with my kids on name the movie the song is from. Great. Okay, but, go ahead. You're in charge. I'll see. Um, no, Jamie I was the stuff. one who won the game. My kids did. Well, you, you they, my kids would know this, but unfortunately, Richard's not feeling well, and I think he's in bed. Go, go bug him. The, and Sorry, I honey, I know that you're on death's door, but we just wanted to know. <laughs> pulling names Carl out of the Simmer air. Is. Well, we did have. He? I wrote down four things. Lion King, Dune, Dune 2, and Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> and, are those? And maybe Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Do, you know Do, you know that? Do you know who it is? I heard a discussion about Dune and Kung Fu Panda. That's all I remember. Yeah, he's been film composing for decades. You know what? That does sound familiar. I think I read a New York Times article on him. Um, and he's done tons of stuff. Yes. <laughs> However, my brain is not coming to me with anything else, but I think one of the Spider-Man movies. Brandy, do just like a stream of thought consciousness. See if something I'm comes so up. I'm so trying. Just um, try to channel your child. Just like Well, I'm texting Richard to see if he can come in here if he's up for it and can remember Hans Zimmer well enough. I could have sworn he did um, some of the Pirates movies, but he we, did. Have Pirates, we have Pirates, oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. He did. Okay, not the first one. Maybe no, not the did. first one. I, I, what's but at World's End? Maybe the what? At World's End? I don't know. Okay, possible. But what did Caspian say? Nominated or won? He said so we have to have either. the exact movie. No, he so said either nominated be. or won. He didn't say he had to win it. He could be nominated. He's, his name sounds like a, a villain in a Bond movie. <laughs> well, that's not racist at all. No, what did that say about Bond movies? Come on in. About I Bond think... movies. They always uh, have. Wait, wait, wait. I wait, mean, wait, literally, wait, wait, that okay. sounds like the name of one of Here's the Bond characters. characters. Thank you for coming um, down in your bed, Richard. Richard's here now. Tell us. Okay, so the category is Hans Zimmer movies. We have to name 10 of the 36 movies that he was nominated for. Or nominated for an award. Or, or one. But if you can name just any movie. Anything that he did that got notoriety, any kind of award. Anything that he did that got some Rammies, kind of notoriety. Gold, Golden Globes, whatever they say, Oscars. I don't know anything he's gotten awards for. Well, do you know what movies he's um, done scores for? Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Do you know which one? I think all of them. You think all of them? Yeah. At least the first three. At least the first three? Yeah. Okay. Um, what else? I wouldn't be surprised if he did all of them either. Um, he, I believe he did some of the Star Wars, the new Star Wars. Some of the new Star Wars ones? Yeah, like That's um, surprising. Force Awakens or something. Like Force Awakens? No. No, no, no not Wars. Force Awakens. I'd be surprised that just because John Williams is so synonymous no. with it. Yeah, but John, for the well, movies. John Williams did the ones for the ones too. I have no idea. I don't know. I think he did um, Interstellar. Interstellar? Yes. That sounds right. That sounds right. Actually, Interstellar definitely probably has won some award. I it would was think at so. At least nominated because it was really yeah, nominated. Yeah. Which um, makes me wonder, because Christopher Nolan likes to work with the same people again and again, if he could have done Inception. He might have done 1917. 1917? Does that sound right? Is that a Christopher Nolan movie? I believe so. What about Oppenheimer? Could he have done Oppenheimer? I don't think so. I okay. think they went a different way with Oppenheimer. Um... Well, we have a lot of possibilities here. We've got Lion King, uh, Dune, and Dune Two Pirates, uh, three Pirates of the Caribbean films, Kung Fu Panda, <laughs> Interstellar, Star Wars, 
uh, The Force Awakens. No, no Star Wars. No Star no Wars. No Star Wars. Okay. Not the movies. Inception and 1917. He, how about Top Gun, the the one that just recent one? That Maverick? was a big movie. Yeah. For the score, he did some music in it. I think. Uh, that's all I got. Gladiator. Oh, thank, thank you, you Gladiator. It's super helpful. Thank you. Did you do Gladiator? Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank Gladiator. You. Maybe. All right. Yes, some rest. How many we I got? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well. I've got a mess here. We've got to hone it. Uh, okay, let's go from the end. Uh, Maverick, Top Gun Maverick, 1917, like 17, not 70, right? Right. right. Okay. Inception, right. Gladiator, Interstellar, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dune 2, Dune 1, and Lion King. But I we don't know about Dune and Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, no, I think we do. I think the, both Panda. of those are in there. I, I don't know if it's both Dunes Dune, though. But are they anything? award winners? Yeah, not? but I don't think it was Dune one though. That was a long time ago. I, I don't think Dune two has been qualified for or anything yet. No, just say okay. Dune. Mm, he's not going to allow that. Okay, what about um, Pirates of the Caribbean one, two, and three? Then we have. 10. Don't they have names though? No, just say Pirates of the Caribbean. Just kind of can't one. put it down three times though. Yeah, there's three films. So we'd have to say all three. What are their so, names? So he won awards for all three? He won an awards for one of them. We don't know. I don't, I don't know if he won awards for all three. Well, that's the thing. A lot of times they have the same songs in the movies if it's a franchise. What about the um the Batman? What about movie? Harry Potter? No. None of the Harry Potters? Okay. Um, I cannot movies. speak for the Harry Potters. I can tell you definitively, it is not the first two Batman movies. How about the James Bond movies? No, the one that just came out. So. I don't think so. So we do we have ten, Karen? It's not now because I crossed out Dune and Dune Two. I don't. I, feel I would leave Dune in there. Dune One. I would leave Dune One in there. Yeah, Jamie, so you're saying leave Dune, the first Dune? Yeah, just it was just called Dune. Dune I, heard, I heard you, Kevin. I heard you. I'm wondering what Jamie said. I would agree with that. Okay. I mean, I, I'm getting outvoted about Pirates there at the Caribbean, so it's possible he did score some. Okay. Okay, so, so then we have nine, if we keep this list. Lion King, Dune, Pirates of the Caribbean, Kung Fu Panda... Interstellar, Gladiator, Inception, 1917, Maverick. We still need one more. And he's just going to list the name of films that we're all going to have heard of. And I'm actually not very versed on Hans Zimmer. Except I'm very sure he got a clades for The Lion King. So what is the Other name run. of the second Pirates of the Caribbean? Is that the, the world? Edge of the world? No. no. That, was later. that was later. Okay, Jamie really doesn't want any more Pirates of the Caribbean on here. No, no, I mean <laughs> saying no, I can't. No, that's not the title. Oh, okay. Dead Man, Tell No Tales? Was that? That was four, I think. Four, okay. It's Curse of the Black Pearl. My brain's blanking. He picked the wrong composer. Oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't, uh, what's his face? Christopher Nolan do uh, the backwards movie? Um, Wasn't that in that? The guys had the tattoos. Uh, it starts with them. Memento? Did he do Memento? No, never mind. So, but I don't know. What about any superhero movies? Like Batman, Superman, I don't Spider know Man, about any Superman. Of those I can rule out the first two Batman movies definitively. What's the third Batman movie? Ignored. Batman and Robin or something, but I need that one either. That's four. I don't know them. That's how bad the third Batman movie is. Nobody remembers it. What's more Gladiator movies besides what we already got? 
they're not common. Okay, if we don't come up with another one, it's Dune and Dune 2 or Panda, Kung Fu Panda and Panda 2. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's been like a whole bunch of pandas, right? Yeah. But do they Are get any really awards? Are you really serious about Kung Fu Panda? But do they get any awards is what the deal is. No idea. He has to get either a best score or a Grammy or what do you or call it? Saturn a BAFTA or something? Or a BAFTA. Yeah, so you have two, you have, we have three or four like trilogies there. No, we have Lion Pirates. King, Lion King, Dune, Pirates of the Caribbean, Kung Fu Panda, Interstellar, Gladiator, Inception, 1917, and Maverick. And if nobody says anything before time runs out, I'll put in either Dune 2 or Kung Fu Panda 2. I'll just write something unless you tell me otherwise. The Dark Knight movies. What's that? Are those like those are Batman movies? But yes, like... yes. Just the put the Dark one. Knight. What's it called? Dark the Knight. Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Wait, no, that was the second one. The first one was Batman Begins. Which do I put? We have seconds. Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Okay, The Dark Knight. Okay, this is our list: Lion King, Dune, The Dark Knight. Pirates of the Caribbean, meaning the first one. Kung Fu Panda. Interstellar Gladiator Inception 1917 Maverick. Who knows? <laughs> 1917, but I don't know what to reply. Oof. That was a hard category. That was a yeah. very hard. Apparently people don't uh, it's so considered uncommon for people to pay attention to film composers. Yeah, me. Uh, um, uh, uh, we demand a re a redo because we lost one of our team members. Who they talked about ringer? it on my local radio station today uh, uh, <laughs> about another guy, and they mentioned this guy as the second best one after the the uh, John guy. That what's his name? Williams. John Williams. I see he was number one. This guy's number two, or something like that. Well, I just read an article on Marlon Brando and his style of, uh, and all the people who've come after Marlon Brando, and I'm really disappointed that wasn't the category. Susan, why didn't you come to us when we called for your help? You called for our help. Rob called for our help. And three, I can't help you. <laughs> yes, yeah, she can. Yes, yeah, there was somebody who was supposed to be in our group, and she abandoned us and went to help another team. So we're going to yeah, file a grievance. Yes. <laughs> And we needed questions to answer. Julia never came back, and she was helping another team. Oh. So I don't know. What was yeah, going she on. was on our team, and then the the last two rounds, she so, was helping yeah, some other team. I guess. Every time, Defected? every time I I host a category, I never get back to my room. Well, you got to You have your power, so you yeah. can go back. <laughs> oh, sorry. So don't this blame me. But believe me, in this last this bonus, I was no help whatsoever. The other one a little bit, but I thought you guys wanted to talk to uh, and I told Caspian to go there. Just text me. No. You know my name and my number, my everything. But Celia, if you're on the wrong team, you're not helping them get answers, are you? Were you, and the were you other giving them the wrong answers? You can't. You can't. You can't. I, I guess the question is, is, is did room. she realize she was on the wrong team? Well, and no. she and, realized and it, did, did she ask to get moved back? And did they realize it? No, not, they're in, just not like... in time, not in time. <laughs> the last category, she was screaming, so, three stooges, the three stooges. This category, this I'm category, so how, many, how many he's been nominated for? Well, believe me, that last category, I was no help to anybody. No, answer, I, answer. One before I Wait. did know about bird watching. We yeah. have right. a question about the question. We okay. want to know if it was nominated or won, mm -hmm. and we had nobody come by to answer our question, and we didn't. It have says it says it says nominated, and okay. it didn't say anything about no. Uh, okay, he's he's out, we don't he's have any late text. Are we, you guys oh. all bitching about Caspian? Come no, on. because I just looked at one of the movies he was nominated for, and I had no idea he did this. It's in the chat. Film. We're just stalling it's because we got chat. Chat. So we get some answers. answers. It would be it lovely to hear Caspian's answers. We've, yeah, had, Caspian. we've, wasted, we've wasted enough time we could have We're taken fine, a and, uh, sitting on a squat by now. Okay, <laughs> here's the first batch of answers. 
Mm. Oh, oh, wow. oh, Rain Man. Older oh, than I thought. Wow. Oh, and here's oh the second I said the Lion King. We didn't put it down. That was my one contribution. We thought about that. As good as it gets. Wow. Ooh. Oh, Gladiator. That was a great Pearl, score. Oh, Pearl Harbor. Yeah. I think we got okay. nothing of them. Oh, Batman Begins. Yeah, I, I couldn't even them. remember all of them, but I was amazing. Floored, he did Driving Miss Daisy. Oh, this was awesome. the first first batch, though. Are there more? Yeah. Those are the two oh, wait, batches. Yeah, he's got two them both in there. there. Okay, Pirates, oh, Dark Knight, Frost Nixon. Oh, this guy's been busy. Okay, Inception. We got that one. Like that. Dark Knight. Now it's like, what didn't he do? <laughs> yeah, he, oh, didn't do any, he, he didn't do any of the movies we chose. Yeah. Did you know, are you tracking the? We got two. Yeah. Okay, that's the. Complete. Yeah, I, I have the that's list, and I'm tracking the. The stuff. That's I'm all of them, right? Sure. I think, I think so. we had a few. 2024. Yeah. Or we'll say Ben had a few. <laughs> yeah, Ben got quite a few. Blade yeah. Runner, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Bowie. What is Planet Earth 2? Planet Earth 2 was a documentary series on documentary. the BBC, I believe. Oh, he did documentaries. Also. He did The Preacher's Wife and Driving Miss Daisy. No. No. <laughs> Apparently, yes. And Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise. Wow. That was sad. Ah, uh, Dunkirk. Was cool. I forgot that one. Dang it. Yeah. You like Thelma and Louise? Excellent movie. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's oh, wonderful. Yeah. Thelma and yeah. Louise was cool. Yeah, oh, but, yeah. the, but the ending was so awful. They, sad. Yeah. they chose how they were going to. They, they yeah. did not. They chose. Yeah, but it was in the. Well, it was sort of a polluting way to go, but spoiler alert. <laughs> polluting? Uh, <laughs> That's a word. After 30 yeah. years, I guess you, you don't have to worry about a spoiler. Oh. Yeah, no, I hope not. You haven't seen scores, Louis, scores, anybody. scores. Has everybody I'm gotten through the, nah, through keep, the keep stalling, keep stalling. Yeah. Good. 30 years since Thelma and Louise. That's, wow. I didn't even see when it, I didn't see it when it came out. Okay. Are are all the categories covered for next week? I need one. I've I'll got do it. I've got one already. I've got Peggy, Wendy, Gail, and Rob is doing bonus. So I just need one person. I'll do I'll it. Do it. Bill? Okay. Bill will do it. Okay, got it. Yeah, because Robin <laughs> needed one tonight. Thank you for reminding me there, Karen. <laughs> Okay, and my reading library is almost done. Just saying, if it wasn't raining today, I might have it done today. And I was the on reading some rainbow. Mm, nope. Your so, reading uh, library, as opposed to your looking library. I have a looking library. Hmm. Kind of more of a looking library. The that's smelling a library. The so, toilet in library. In the vicinity the of my library. of my um house you're welcome collection of books on the bathroom shelf no I'm pretty much up in the rafters and they have to stand on the toilet to get to them <laughs> okay. Here's right. yours. okay along with the cigarettes the playboy magazine lit, and the marijuana cigarette. they're selling make That's sure right. they're lit. and you think it's not true next time you go in one looking up there no i'm not standing up no <laughs> oh look it's a gun voice. oh yeah look at this <laughs> Okay, so where did Vincent go? Right here. He went seven. to the Africa. I'm I'm mad. I should have remembered more of them, but seven. Okay. Boy Pretty good. Has an open door. We wouldn't have got even half oh, of that. We just blew past them, too. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. oh hey, we're, we're getting closer. Eclipse observers. Is that us? Is that two? Um, we have four, I think. Yeah, four. Wow. Thanks to okay. Kyle. Caspian's own team. Mag upheld his lies, but now his truth plummets before our eyes. Eight. Whoa. Wow. Nice. I'm shocked. Uh, Hellebore by any other name. Didn't we get them all? Ten? Yeah. Ten. Jeez. Boy. Oh man! Oh, wow. wow. Only one bad round for you guys. I don't know if we've ever had such a stretch. Have we ever had a stretch like that? Oh yeah. 
Oh, Who's keeping yeah. this oh, oh, on yeah. the history of the game? You don't have to rub it in, Susan. Gosh. I was on that team. <laughs> I was on team three. I am on all teams. I am encompassing of all of you. All I don't like it when you put Kyle and Bill on the same team unless I'm on that team. Yeah, that, that should be that should be uh, that should be outlawed. I want you guys to know how I choose. Oh, we've, we've had that two two weeks in a row now too. So uh, mm -hmm. well, yeah, the same yeah. team. Hey. When when you come in, what happens is I once I get it all together, Good night, I Alan. make rooms and it makes your rooms. It just makes the rooms automatically, and I just put the the team leaders in each room. And that's all I really do. I'm not really <laughs> choosing anything. So it we is had what it is, you guys. We had the same team last week. Huh? Yeah, we had I think the same Zoom team last week. Into oh, wait, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was on the same team that, well, I missed last week, but I almost had the exact same team as I had I, a I, couple I, weeks I prior. It was weird. It's, I, I think it's possible it has something to do with the order you come into the Zoom room. Because mm. because it used to be Carl with a K and uh, Jim and Bob. Remember Bob, Chicken Bob? He would, they would always be like the first ones to show up in Wendy. And I noticed that they would be the first ones that entered into the room. And they almost seemed like they were always in the same group whenever went to put them in rooms together. And I think I noticed that after a while, I started moving them a little bit. Maybe you should just write everybody's name on a ping pong ball and put it into a lot of Do we Can we get spotted a couple points because one of our team members defected to another team? Yeah. <laughs> sure, give them 10 points. Tell you, you'll never for money. live that down. No. Wait, wait, what, what difference would it have made? Which team is it that she was supposed to be on? Well, not... No, she was on team. our team, the team who got the lowest score. Okay, okay. And we okay. didn't know her the last two rounds. Good. How about that? No, and I can't do that. Well, I did help with the bird watching, but otherwise, I don't know how much help I would have been. <laughs> did no. you get that one correct, at least? Yeah, that's the one round we did really good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Everybody. Folks. Thank you, Susan. Thank you Thanks. guys for showing up. Good night, Susan. Good to see you again. Good night. Happy birthday. Good night, everyone. Where's Vincent? Happy birthday. Okay. Where right, is Vincent? Right here. Now I'm going to be off. Happy birthday. Be well. And Thank be well. you. 52 today. Ooh. Or yesterday. Right. Happy birthday, Vincent. All right, hey, happy birthday. I'll let happy you all birthday. have a great evening. Good and enjoy the rain. It's pouring here. Well, it was a second ago. It I was? Ready. I got to walk my dogs. Uh-oh. Well, it was oh, raining yeah. here.